Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, my God. Whew, need a little bit of a slightly longer recovery from all that food after I was uh, I was done eating those fajita things. Oh, jeez. That was so much fucking food. <laughs> oh. I was dying. Oh, this game is mad horny. I mean, yeah, it's mostly, like, sex jokes, but... Um, jokes about boobs and dicks, but, uh... uh it's more horny than I expected. Oh. It was so much food. I was, like, on the sofa, just sitting there, like, Oh, my God, I've eaten... So <laughs> I was like, I am so fucking full. I'm so fucking full. God damn. Oh, shit. Ooh. Sorry, I just saw, uh... guy that was doing a lot of, uh, he was like a big part of the fine game community. Looks like he might have been skimping funds from prize, pool, prize pools or something. Oh shit, he was already, he always seemed like a really cool guy. Fuck. Oh. You had time to watch two anime episodes. Ooh. Yeah, I was, I, I, I stuck something on Netflix and I was eating food and I was like, right, have some food and then I was like, oh, this is, I, I needed to finish it because I, I'd managed to, like, measure it out, and it was almost exactly the amount of food I needed to eat for the day. So <laughs> that would be my one meal for the day. It's a giant filling meal that fills me up and makes me want to explode. The tiny little pieces of nothingness. Oh. <sighs> right. I think I'm recovered now. I do need to grab my water bottle, though. I shall probably change out of this. I've got, like, food stains all down. It was a very messy fajita. Uh, it was... I, I spent most of it licking it off of my hands. It was an extremely messy fajita. Yeah, I got a lot of fajita stains on me. Okay. I think I might, I think I might have to change my top. Old fajita stains. Oh, uh, well... No, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna be a slob and sit in food covered. <laughs> oh god, what has become of me? What has become of me? Just some slovenly man covered in fajita stains, wolfing down food. <sighs> right. Mm, right, before we get going, I wanna I want us to real quickly check upcoming game releases. Let's try if we can make a little plan on what's coming up. Check a couple of different websites to see what's what. Hmm. Okay, Games Radar, what do you got? 
Well, we've done December, we're in January now. I'm going, going to the light. Flash Party, Children of Silent Town, Candria, Gatewalkers. Wait, is One Piece Odyssey not out yet? I thought it was. I guess not. Isn't that like it? Isn't that the kind of opening worldy One Piece game, or am I am I getting am I getting that wrong? You low key hope that the auto autonom the near autonomous anime is good. I I would think you'd high key hope it was good. <laughs> I gotta stop calling people out when they use the phrase low key. I I still I still think nobody knows how to use it properly. No, it doesn't look like it's a PC port because it comes out on PS4, Xbox X, PS4 afterwards. So that must be its actual release. It comes out. It only comes out a day before. So, um, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC. Okay. Mm. Oh, Fire Emblem. Oh yeah, the new Fire Emblem game comes out in uh, Jan. Shit. I low-key hope. When they mean high <laughs> Yeah. I high-key hope that everybody helps the high-keys. High-key? Because um, like, when you say low-key, I guess it would be... When people say... Well, my assumption is when people say low-key, they mean they're very... They like... They kind of on the low. They like... They're not saying anything, but they hope it's really good. You know, they're like, they're like, oh man, I kind of, I don't know, they're like keeping it to, I don't, I, I guess that's how I always took it. But I feel like the second you say that, it's no longer low key because you've now announced that you're looking forward to it. Like on the down low, you're kind of, on the down low, you're like, you're, you're paying no attention, you're pretending like you're not paying attention to it. But on the down low, you're actually secretly hoping it's really good. That's what I, that's why I always took low key to mean. So I feel like once you announce that something's, you're low key hoping something, then it automatically no longer is low key. I said the word Loki. Now I've. It feels like it doesn't mean anything. Anyway, uh, is, is that right? Is Forspoken actually coming out in January? Because <laughs> that's a that's a fairly big release. I, I feel like this game has been pushed back so many times. Right. Hang on. Yeah, okay. No, I mean, if we're saying 24th now. Hmm, we'll see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I could see that quiet. I could definitely see that. Hesitantly hoping. Yeah, you know what? That's a good way to put it. So the Neo Automata thing, are they like adapting the game or are they doing like its own thing? Is it like a base, is it like a series based off of Neo Automata or is it like based directly on the games? Is it like a, you know, in the near universe? It's going to be very fucking horny. Of course it is. <laughs> Look at the fucking main character. They're going to they're going to they're going to sexualize the shit out of it. Uh, right, yeah, okay, for spoken, that's, that's what I have to keep my eye on that one. Um, oh yeah, the new dual sense, yeah. Wait, the Dead Space, wait, Dead Space Remake is January? I thought it was February. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, well that's a fucking, that's a big one. That one, that one we're making, we're making of that one. On a new game, I, 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 from what they, from the, the change they're making, it almost feels like it's gonna be new. I can, I consider a complete remake and a new engine basically new in my head. To be honest with you, like if it's just a remaster where they're just 
sprucing up like the the, the 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 resolution a bit i wouldn't look as much when they when they like fully remake it from the bottom i kind of almost, i look at it as like a new game because of the fucking effort that's gone into like a complete ground up remake of a game but still a, a new release so Okay, Dead Space Remake and Forspoken, possibly Final Fire Emblem Engage. I don't know if I'm really too bothered with Fire Emblem Engage, to be honest with you. I don't think, I, I don't think I'll play that. Um. Okay, yeah, so those are those Forspoken and that's pretty, that's coming quite soon next to each other, so we'll have to see. Uh... Inc Inculinati. What the fuck is that? Hmm. Season of Ladder to the Future, Second Front. SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. I, I have no idea what that is. I have to look up some of these games. What the fuck is Colossal Cave? Text based adventure game. Um, probably wouldn't do very well on the stream. <laughs> Hogwarts is coming out in there. I don't, I, I generally don't know if I'm going to play Hogwarts. I feel very weird about that game. It looks fun, but I, I don't know. Um... Wild Hearts, yeah. Wait, didn't Cell Symphonia remaster? I thought that was already out. On ev I thought that had already come out on everything. <laughs> how many times are they gonna. Jesus Christ, how many times is this Tales of Symphonia remaster gonna come back out again? Fucking hell. It's interesting. The Hogwarts thing is interesting because, like, she. She's already gotten them. I don't. I don't think she's getting. Like, I think she's been paid for that. I don't know if she's getting like a cut from every sale. Like, don't, that's not really how that works. So I feel like not buying it, you're kind of taking them out of the devs' pockets. But then at the same time, I know that she tends to use her like the popularity of Harry Potter as a way to kind of like. back up her, her like views in a way do you know what i mean like i've heard her use that for, use that and i'm like Ugh. like i don't want to i don't want to feel like i am promoting her shit but that game looks really fun <laughs> it's just annoying like it genuinely looks like a pretty fun harry potter game Yeah, that's that's the thing, Tringard. Like, honestly, if she wasn't using like the popularity of Harry Potter as a way, as a as a, like, as some kind of like way to back up her own arguments, I probably wouldn't feel as bad about getting it. But like knowing that she kind of does that, I'm, it, it makes me be like, <sighs> it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm 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 I am whoever anyone who wants to get it, I don't give, I don't give a shit. That's that's everyone's own personal choice to make. That is, you do what you want, you know. But yeah, it's. It has given me, when I saw her say something about that, I was like, mm. God damn it. I feel sorry for the, the devs, though. I'm sure, it'll, it'll, I mean, let's be honest, it'll do fine. It'll do perfectly fine. It's not going to suffer. Um, you know, people, plenty of people will buy it. Plenty of people, like, have literally no idea about JK's whole wild fucking shit. You know, people who people who aren't online, people who just you, you know, your average people who don't care about that shit or don't don't pay attention to any of that, probably have no idea. Some of them, they're just like, oh, Harry Potter, yeah, okay, which is fair. Not everyone can be fucking plugged into everything, yeah, man. Gigantosaurus Dino Cart. What the fuck is that?
Gigantosaurus Dino Cop. <laughs> what the fuck is what the fuck is Gigantosaurus Dino Cop? This looks wild. What the hell? I mean, you know me. I love COD games. That looks bizarre. <laughs> that looks really fucking weird. Um, Wild Hearts. Which one is Wild Hearts? Oh, Wild Hearts is the... Um... Oh, shit. Yeah, this is the Monster Hunter game. The Monster Hunter S game. Oh, that one looks... This one looks really interesting. Like, the designs of the monsters and shit look really fucking cool. I was quite interested in this. Yeah, Wild Hearts is a bit... Ooh, oh, shit, like a dragon? Like Dragon Ishin's out in Feb? Well, we won't be playing that. That'll just, that'll just get added to the list of Yakuza like a dragon games. <laughs> that, we'll probably play that in, like, four years from now. So look forward to that. <laughs> Never. I'm, I'm not going to be able to play that game for a fucking very long time. Uh... Yeah, probably more than four years. It's usually taking, taking about a year to get for a Yakuza game, doesn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> like ten years or something like that. <laughs> uh, well, one day. One day we'll play Like a Dragon. Seen... One day. Uh, yeah, I need to look at this Atomic Hearts one. Uh, people were talking about this, and I... We were talking about this while I was doing food, and I just couldn't, like... I just could not for the life of me remember what game this was. I don't remember that game at all. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't remember that game at all. Okay, well, that's something. That's something to keep an eye on as well. Um. Oh, that's the that's the Horizon VR shit. Shit. Uh, Zenith, the Last City. Why do I? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh God, it's that virtual reality fucking MMO, isn't it? Oh, Kegel Space Program 2 comes out in early access. Huh. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't like Octopath Travel enough to want to get the second one. That's cool that Return to Dreamland's being re-released. I won't play it. I've played Return to Dreamland before. I don't feel... I don't think there's anything being added to that that requires me to go back and play it again. So, yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, Destiny 2 Lightfall. Scars of Murder. Uh, oh, Last of Us is coming to the PC on in March, is it? Hmm. That's cool. Peaky Blinders, The King's Ransom, the game. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, oh, the Bayonetta Origins comes out in March. Do 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 Dude, honestly, this Sonic music is so good as background music. This is all just Sonic Frontiers music, it's great. Um Oh the Star Wars Yeah, the new Star Wars one comes out in March. Oh shit. Oh my god. 
This is actually, wow, next year is quite stacked right from the get-go. Holy shit. There's actually a lot more uh, big stuff coming out than I realized next, right at the get-go. Shit, that's quite, that's quite messy and it's packed. Fucking hell. I want to. I, I want to play the new Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That looks. I love the original. So. Fucking Resident Evil Four remake comes out. Oh my god. Like a couple days. Oh jeez. God, we've got to play that. Can't fucking wait for that. Resident Evil Four is like one of the best games of all time. Hmm. Really? I mean, yeah, it's up to the individual, though. I, I, I won't lie to you. I wasn't planning to play anyway. <laughs> I, uh, but, I mean, it's up to the individual if they choose to boycott stuff. You look into it yourself. If you choose to, you choose to. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I hadn't really planned on playing it, to be honest with you. I, play, I, 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 I played what I, I did of Kerbal Space Program originally, but, um... It's, it's never, it's a bit, it's like those, those games just aren't really for, aren't really for me. Oh, Resident Evil 4 though, I can't wait for that remake, fuck me. It's gonna be so good. I fucking love Resident Evil 4. Oh, that's, oh, that's his PS4 release, man, it doesn't come on PS4 and Xbox One until like, April. Quite a... Big jump. Ad infinitum. Why do I recognize that? Hmm, maybe I don't. Oh shit, I forgot that Tears of the Kingdom is like in May. Oh my god. I completely forgot that it comes out this year. Holy shit. Publisher cancelled its contract with the studio and the devs find out via LinkedIn and the publisher basically pushed forward after poaching a bunch of people. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah, there was a couple of people saying that this year is going to be fucking stacked because of, uh... <laughs> Honestly, I think some people were like, I just don't want to release the same year Elden Ring does. <laughs> but, like, just a just a whole, like, knock-on from pandemic shit and all everything getting delayed. But, yeah, I know a lot of people saying that this year is going to be fucking ridiculous because... Loads of games have gotten delayed into this year. Kill the Justice League. That's then. That's like based in the art. That's made by the the Arkham people, isn't it? Okay, crap, man. Fuck. I'm excited. I didn't realize. I actually completely forgot that Tears of the Kingdom was out this year. That's very exciting. Street Fighter Six. Look forward to that. Final Fantasy Sixteen. Oh my god. Can't wait for that. I'm like, I'm very excited for Final Fantasy Sixteen. Of course, I can see comes out on the Switch on July. Jesus, that's a delay. And then these are all uh, unconfirmed, to be confirmed, possible releases this year. Possibly we'll get Spider Man 2. Damn, man. I mean, you take this whole list here with, but with, with a, you know, a bit of salt because half of these will probably get delayed until the next year afterwards. To be honest, <laughs> silk song. <laughs> that game's never coming out. I don't care what they say. That game's never coming out. Anyway, this is way too big a list. They just listed every game that could come out in 2023. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ.
These are all the games that could come out because they didn't come out before. Okay, but half of them probably won't. Yeah, but they could come out. You know, you know, you, know, you don't know. Sure, sure. Do you know you could pre-order the new Zelda game? Yeah, I did say you could, couldn't it? I guess you can, I suppose. Silk Song will be here one day. I'm sure it'll be great when it does. It's just hilarious how how it's sometimes I can't help but laugh sometimes at how long, how like <laughs> how early people announce things. You know what I mean? So what what day are we on? Thirteenth. All right. I'm pretty sure the after fourteenth. I think. Um, I think we jump. We I think we're leaving the tutorial. I, I think. Feed the cat. Cook a recipe. Feed the pig. Okay. I doubt, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I probably, I probably won't play Hollow Knight with all the DLC. I, I, it's just a bit, it seems a bit daunting to me. I had fun with, I had fun with, with Hollow Knight. I don't know if it's, I don't know if I feel the need to go back to it, to be honest. God, whatever one. No, I I haven't I I haven't touched any of the DLC for Hollow Knight. Like I had loads of fun when I played it originally, but I I haven't touched a single bit of DLC for it. I just I don't know. I was like I really enjoyed it, and I I don't know. I didn't really feel the need to go back and play more. It was weird. It's it's, it's weird. It's like sometimes I'll be like that. I'll be like I really enjoyed that game, but I don't feel any need to go back to it. I feel like I got what I wanted out of that game, and I'm satisfied with it. Sometimes, sometimes I don't mind when a game comes out and then nothing else, no DLC or anything else comes out for it. Some, I, I know that I've had like the full experience then, and I'm like, yeah, that was really fun. Now the game is so fucking massive, it feels like it would be very intimidating to go back to. Your siblings seemed a bit maudlin earlier. They have gone for a walk in Northgate to clear the old head fog. Maybe go see what's the matter. First time they've left the farm. Always been a little cold, that one. Hardworking and loyal, but just a little closed. Not like you at all, really. You ran into Lucy Harris yet? Some folk think she's a bit funny. Woohoo! Bit goofy. This is a little bit goofy. Letter from Jacob. I feel a bit awkward writing this, but last night I had a dream where a giant rabbit visited me. It told me all about you and of things to come. It is summertide tomorrow, and I may get chosen to be the Herald. I just wanted you to have a little gift that I kept that I keep locked up in the old rune tower at the bottom corner of the burial grounds. <laughs> a great future ahead of you. Why is old why is fucking old Jacob sending me this? Weirdo. What else do we need to do? Uh, cook a recipe. Okay, let's get some honey.
I just assumed that, that this our sibling was our sister, to be honest. Because I just I just assumed the game just picked. If you picked, if you picked uh, male, they just gave you the female. I, I assume. But <laughs> right. Okay. Don't let the berries go cold. I, I still don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> How do I do the honey first? It still goes down, even if you put it in slowly, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it makes a difference how, <laughs> how, how fast you push it in. Maybe it's all about the speed that you do it. Uh, fuck, I got no idea, dude. Damn, still, still making it too cold. Wait, there was a temperature knob? Was there a te oh shit, hang on a minute, let's fuck, let, me, let me try that again. I didn't even notice that. Oh shit, it's left bumper and right bumper. Fuck. Well, of course, I looked at that. Da, da, da. Oh, jeez. Milky late Happy New Year. Let's see what it says this time. Don't let him get too hot. I'm guessing red is bad. Hmm. Well, it said don't let it. It didn't say don't let it get too cold. So I guess we we solved one aspect of that. Still only got one star. The one star man. to make a simpleton stew but I, I have like no basil I don't I've got nowhere to get it from <laughs> sorry for being too complicated Ah, there we go. A little bit faulty. Oh, that's good. Um, I don't. Know, I think it's probably just. It's probably. I think. I think a lot of people don't like vagueness. It's vague, basically. Um, and a lot of people are very much used to everything being told to them right then and there. So if it's vague, they like what the fuck. This is too complicated. It's very much. This game seems like this game did say at the beginning. It's like, you know, you can either look at the wiki or you can work it out yourself. So. I guess we'll just work it out. Because I don't get much joy out of just reading the wiki. 
That's for secondary playthroughs. Or playing Terraria. <laughs> At any point in your life. I love I love working shit out. It's so much more fun. Like I I much prefer not having any idea what's going on and then working out as I go. There'll there'll probably will come a point where I'm like, all right, I'm getting frustrated by this. Let's look it up. Sometimes, but um, usually I'm more likely to do that when I'm on stream, for the sake of viewingness. If I'm on my own, I probably just keep bashing my head against stuff, you know. But like, like it's like I guess the thing is like the options there. Like there's a link straight to the wiki here, so if you want to, it's there. Um, there might be there might be a better explanation for the cooking, to be honest with you. Um, in the uh, in in the cooking thing, I have to I have to look at it next time. We'll, we'll, we'll read up a bit. Tunic, yeah, Tunic's a great example of a game that is much better off experience. Yeah, I, I feel like some. I know some people. Some people like don't like that. People. Some people don't enjoy not knowing. Like it, it's like a, it's almost like a form of anxiety. Like not not being able to know things. Like being just like what the fuck. Which I get. That's, that's how some people are. But yeah, it's like the it's super not me. Ah, oh, you came. I was just feeling. Uh, very wistful and was thinking about our real parents. Do you think they are out there somewhere flittering around or snuggled up in a burrow somewhere? But like that's super like I think Tunic might be some people's idea of a fucking nightmare of a game. <laughs> being, like being thrown into a game where you literally can't understand any of the writing in it. Unless you choose to Unless you choose to learn a fucking language, basically. Like, I, uh, I, they, I, they, I can super imagine people not liking that kind of style, like you know. But uh, yeah, I fucking adore that. That's super duper up my alley. The less I know about a game going into it, the better usually. Which is often why I don't pour over like the information for new games. I go, oh, that's cool. And then I'll look at trailers now and then. But then I just kind of let it be. Which does sometimes leave me to be uh, confused about uh, what the game ends up being when I, <laughs> when, I <laughs> when I haven't seen that much. And I'm like, people are like, oh, what's this game about? And I'm like, I don't know. I've just started playing it. Because I've got no idea. People come, people come to like people, like, you know, stuff. People like us, they're like, "Oh, yeah, tell me about this game," and I'm like, oh, "I can tell you nothing because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I'm as blind as all of you." <laughs> Everyone just calls me sibling. Tal's principle. Oh, yeah, Tal's principle is great, isn't it? It's like such a fun game. Like I got, I got, I got like heavy portal. I got heavy portal vibes. Fun fact: the Astronauts principle. are only allowed to use Linux or Apple operating systems because it's dangerous to open windows in space. Wop wop. Thank you, Domo, for the hundred biddies. Um, I don't think I ever went for all the stars. To be honest with you, I think I, uh, I don't think I did. Like uh, a great example of Fez, right? Fez, I had so much fun doing, but. Just purely out of because I wanted to know what it, how to do it, like what, everything, what about everything in the game. I ended up looking up the, the extremely hard solutions, which I'm sad about. But I also know that I would never have worked them out, and I was never going to spend the time to work them out. After seeing the solutions, I was like, "Fucking, oh my god!" I would never in my life have been able to. I mean, maybe I honestly I say that, given an infinite amount of time, probably I would have been able to work it out. <laughs> I just don't. I didn't want to spend an infinite amount of time. I 
Any theory about not locking things up for a game as hidden systems? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like, I feel like personally with games like that, those systems are better off like explored on like secondary playthroughs. But I totally get it. Like, yeah, when I played Demon Souls, I didn't understand world tendency at all, and I just kind of ignored it for the most part. And it was just a it was just a background thing that it happened. It wasn't until like. I think I finished the game and a couple, maybe a couple of years later I was reading wikis about it and I was like, oh shit, there's like a whole mechanic I didn't know about in this game. So then when I went back and played it again, it actually was quite interesting because I started doing stuff and seeing things that I'd never seen before. And I was like, oh shit, this is fucking really cool. Um, so in that sense, it added to the game for me. And like the first time I didn't even know it existed, so I didn't care about it. Um, and the fact that, you know, the fact that I was missing it, I was like, eh they didn't know existed but yeah and then, then learning about it later on and going back it, it made a secondary play for a lot more fun not every game is like that certainly some games you know you're like i don't think i want to go through it again to deal with that souls games are the kind of games you can play through again because you know i feel like souls games are designed to be played multiple times because of you know the build the, the way you can do builds and shit like that yeah the world tendency is bonkers like Unless unless you look that shit up, it's I don't really know how you and how you get to grips with it, to be honest with you. Baba is you. Oh god, yeah. i I think I've been playing Baba is you on and off for like a good year or so or more. Every now, as I on my Switch, every now and then I'll pick it up and like play around for a bit. I've been pretty fucking stuck on a couple of puzzles for like months, where I'll pick up and play it for a bit and be like, I have to start again because I'm like, I don't even remember like where I was in the solution part of it before. Um, yeah, I'll be like, I'll, I'll look at it and be like, all right, and then come back a month, come a month later, two later, I'm like, oh fuck, I don't even remember like what my thoughts were about this. <laughs> so starting again and doing it. I have avoided looking up any solutions to it. I get what you mean. Like, the temptation's there. But I also know the second I look up the... I, the second I look up any solutions to that game, it's ruined for me. The game is... The game The game would be... I basically would, shouldn't... I basically... There's no point to me playing the game if I look up the solutions to that game. Because that... The, the solutions are the game, you know? It would completely... Absolutely destroy the whole game for me if I, if I looked up any any solution to that game. Plus it also, like, when you get moments like that, um, uh, when you get moments like that, you get those kind of like, oh. <laughs> I'd have to describe them like, oh. those moments in games. Those moments in games are very far and few between these days because games don't like you not knowing stuff. Not everyone, but a lot of the larger ones. They, you know, they get, it's like they get antsy if you don't know something. The new God of War is a great example of that. We have Atreus's fucking constant, you know, if you spend more than, what, like two minutes trying to work out a puzzle, he's like, maybe you should do, you're like, fuck off. What the fuck are you doing? Um... But I mean, let's say that you can you could probably look up hints, like I have a hint system, or like look up hints online without the solution. Like you could probably do that. Uh, but I mean, that's that's uh, it's all personally up to the individual. I'm not saying that that's how you should play the game, but it's all up to the individual. Like I'm saying, me personally, if I looked up solutions, it would be pointless to me. Um. Yeah, I I haven't played for that God of War yet. I've just seen some videos of people showing examples of the the of the back seeing parts of it and i was just a bit like oh, jesus christ and i know you can't turn them off can you people were saying you could but you can't <laughs> you can change something you can change the change with the timing but you can't actually stop them from popping up despite what people have said they they will he'll always eventually tell you but um yeah it's uh it's it's weird. Like that, that if you you remember when I was playing um like the older you know you know when I was playing like the really old point and click stuff, those are like those are like <gasps> in a nutshell. You know you're doing shit and then something works and you're just like what this what <laughs> like those I get that's one of the things I love about those games. Like I will get 
fucking so frustrated with those games because I cannot work out what to do. But once something works, it's like the best feeling ever. Um, but yeah, it's hard to it's hard to find games that give you that kind of oh feeling. And I feel like a lot of people don't want that feeling or have never had that feeling, especially if you didn't grow up with games when they were doing that constantly and you've grown up more with games as they are now, then I guess you don't even really know that feeling <laughs> or care about it. So you're just like, no, oh, I just want to know. I just want to know. So, yeah. yeah. It's interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, that was a that was a really bizarre rant. Yes, anyway, the point my point I think my point was originally is that Tunic gave me that feeling. I'm sad that in the end I had to look up the language thing. I really wish I could have worked out the language thing and I kind of hate that I did look it up in the end. But I also uh I just didn't want to dedicate any more time to it um personally, which, you know, was, like, like I said that's my choice. Uh but yeah. I, I spent ages trying to work out the language in that. And after looking up what it was, I don't know if I would have gone in that direction or not. I'm not sure. But um, I was, I was like, I, I had divorced myself enough from the game at that point to like think, be like, okay, I'm, I'm okay looking up what exactly the language shit is here. I did most of that game, majority of that game, or most the majority of the secrets in that game without looking anything up, which I'm very chuffed about. Um, <laughs> Goddamn kids these days. I know, in the end, this just turns into a kids these days rant, so. <laughs> I've never played Myst. Um, that's, a, that's a game I have never played. I'll tell you, another game that was very much like that was uh, The Witness. Was it the is it called the witness? You know the the one with the the, the puzzles. That was a that was a that was a very much a misty kind of. Oh my god! What the fuck? You know when you realize the moments when you realize that the world itself is the puzzles, and you're like, oh my god, the clouds are a puzzle and shit, and you you you're like, fuck, holy crap. <laughs> Yeah, somehow the somehow the witness managed to make a game of draw the line into an extremely interesting wild game. Have I seen the looker? Oh, you mean the parody thing of it? I've seen some people play it. Yeah, I'd, I probably won't, but uh, I've seen I've seen some people look at it. Anyway, all that aside, uh, you know, video games. Let's let's, let's play video games. <laughs> This is fucking off of my own world there. Video games, everybody. Old man shakes fist at cloud. Wank. That was old man. That was that was old man wanks off invisible penis. That one. Uh, I want. <laughs> want to leave this. Um. Old man shakes fist at Cloud's drive. Old man jacks off Cloud's drive? What? Um, I mean, one of the things I liked about Tunic Grand was that I had to write shit down. Like, I had a notepad for that game, and I haven't had to do that in a game in a very long time. And it, it, was, very, it's a very, it was a very nice tactile experience. I, I want more games where I have to do that. Anyway. Um, I want to leave this place as soon as I... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One other thing I forgot. My friend played Tunic, and every time he, he like, unlocked a new piece of the manual, he'd print it out physically. So he had, like, the physical manual and stuff. But you don't need to print the pieces out, like, when he unlocked them in the game. He could doodle on them. I was like, that's a really cool idea. <laughs> So he had like the physical, yeah, it was like a really, it was a really fun idea. I was like, fuck, I should have done that. <laughs> if I had a printer, I probably would have, but I don't. Yeah, it may, he said he said it made the playing the game like even more fun, like having like the physical, like a ma physical manual in front of him. Uh, I want to leave the place as soon as I reach adulthood. I find the veil is too backwards and enclosed, and I feel suffocated here, and everyone calls me sibling, and no one gives me a name. I hope you will come with me, and we can be who we want to be, and live how we want to live. I'm a peacock captain. You gotta let me fly. 
you just say you were a peacock? And when the goddess calls for us, we will gladly go to them and run around the fields as their children, happy and free. I best get back to the farm. Are you all right? <laughs> I feel like you're about to go and commit some kind of some atrocity. Should we finally get to see what this summertide rubbish is all about? I bet it's just old town ninnies eating fruit until they burst. But if anything like the dream I had last night. Goodbye. I think I made it a high quality printed physical manual yet. I actually don't know, Leo. I don't know. Having the manual all at once before you play the game though would completely ruin the game. <laughs> it's it's weird, like it, you'd have to like you'd have to like have it that would be a thing you could only really experience after you finish the game. Like if you did that before the game, it would actually destroy the game. So it'd be weird. It'd be like one of those things you couldn't like bring out. You couldn't like give it away with the game because it, yeah, it would it would just it would fuck it up completely. Blood orgies. Screenshot the typing, take notes and drawing program. That's a smart idea too, honestly. That's a fucking smart idea. You little smarty pants, you. You little fucking smarty pants, you. Did I ever tell you about the time I was sat chewing on a rainbow mushroom by the old graves? I saw a man walking through the burial grounds with no head. What's more, I could see right through him. He walked over a tree, bent down, and picked his head up. He then walked off of it and vanished into the lake. You know what was odd about it? Which I never told anyone. I don't even like rainbow mushrooms. <laughs> Why the fuck are you eating them then? Nice. Nice tune. These people in this town are insane, man. They tell you the most weird shit. I'll be honest, if anyone offered me a multicolored fungus, I'd assume I was about to trip balls if I had it. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want this multicolored fungus? Because it's going to make me trip balls. Nah. No. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It is, and it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't, you know, it's, I, I get what you mean, though, it's, it's frustrating, you know, it's like he doesn't even listen to it. What? What do you... I got Kepler a rainbow mushroom. I mean, the description of them is, ever wanted to touch the sky with candy arms while mice polish your dancing team? <laughs> I think that, I feel like that confirms them. Should we eat one? We ate one. Illusion. Ooh, we've got illusion temporary traits for pale and bravery. Yeah, I love the shopping music. It's great. Give me your fucking carrots, you cowards. Cowards. Cowards! You 
You and I are getting on like a house on fire. Like, wait, no, hang on. That's not house. That says horse. You and I are getting on like a horse on fire. What's a horse? Wow, they were ancient pigs that were as big as, ha big as a house. And you could ride them as fast as the wind they were. Of course, I once saw one when I was smoking ground up mo <laughs> rainbow mushrooms. Ran right past me, it did. Flaming as it went. Me and Laura's like, Wah. What struck me as odd is it's near impossible to grind up rainbow mushrooms. <laughs> Dude, old Jacob is a fucking just trippy mess, man. What the hell? Oh, shit. Because we're friends, we get item permission? <gasps> Holy shit. I... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, well, that just... That that makes... Oh, wow. That changes uh, becoming friends with people. Holy shit. I didn't realize that. Oh, shit. So if we become really friendly, we get item permission, which means I think we get to, like, take the crops and shit. <laughs> Basically, the more friendly you get, the way more you take advantage of their shit, <laughs> of, their, of their friendliness. Befriend all the, 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 the yokel locals and take advantage of their kindness. Right to loot, baby. Hey, listen, we're friends. I have the right to loot. What? I want to tell you something. I'm only telling this to you as we're now the best of friends. I once saw Mag the Moghog in these very same burial grounds. It was across the river by those tall rock columns sleeping. I made a note of my experience in this book. You can have it, seeing as we're pals. I only ask one favor. I dare not dig up any of those old graves. I once buried a tin ward when I was, was more suspicious, uh, but now I want it back. I just feel I may have upset the spirits of the goddesses. Okay. Goddess, we are good with you. Dig up the ward in burial grounds. Mm, okay. Sure, let's sure let's do that. This definitely won't come back to haunt us. What do you mean by dig up the ward? Give you a strawberry. <laughs> you stole all my stuff. Yeah, because we're friends. It's not what friends do. If you sprinkle parsley on your hair after on the first day of spring, you get green hair. True that. Okay. It's good to know. Soup Olad. Ooh. Oh my god. Made of it's made of rainbow mushrooms. Nothing better for making you feel a high to high. <laughs> high to high. High to high. I'm going to assume that is supposed to be. <laughs> high to high. Cow, cow. <gasps> Uh, time. Time to put bad stinks to rest. You will always smell your best. Tin charm. Strengthen up. Strength up versus hops, nops, and lops. Hop, hobs, knobs, and lobs. Hobs, knobs, and lobs. I guess that is the ward I was supposed to be digging up, I suppose. I'm supposed to know where I can. Like, where where is fruitful to dig up? I mean, I guess it's always fruitful to dig up graves, right? Tin, oh, that's tin ward. Hob, knob, lob, damage reduced. Hey. So do we, do we do it? Take up the ward and burial grounds. Return the tin ward you found to old Jacob. Yeah, there we go. 
Little sap. In secret glades of Tir Nanog, little sap seeps from arcane logs. Music. The music here vaguely reminds me of Valheim. Do you, do you know what I mean? So you're thinking that? Hey, I'm glad I wasn't anyone thinking that. I was getting, I was getting some serious like Valheim vibes. Speaking of Valheim, that's a game I haven't played in a while. I think I'm there. I I think I I think I played that game too much in early access and spoiled myself on it. I, that's the only problem I have with early access. I love I love like devs being able to like you know work with the community to create a game, but. Oh, it's so easy to spoil yourself on shit like that. Thanks for that? <laughs> did you see anything... Why did he... Thanks for that? Did you see anything strange? Did anything try to grab your ankles? <laughs> Only joking. They would probably try bite, not grab. You should come around down here more often. The, whis the whispers can be quite soothing. <laughs> Mag the Maghog by Jacob Crackle. I was eating a rainbow mushroom and decided to take a walk to clear away the hallucinations. I was up by the old rock columns in the burial grounds when a storm broke. It must have been around three in the morning. As the lightning flashed, I saw it. Mag the Moghog. Everyone knows the legend of Mag, but nobody has seen it before. Not quite sure how it exists then and is written about, but whatever. If you do see it, then be quiet. It ran away when I screamed excitedly. Interesting. It's like something that feels like something I, uh, old Jacob story complete. I feel like it's something I could, uh, do at some point. Woof Justice, A Guide to Dog Ownership Part 2 by Kane Hines. That's a good name. Yeah, Valheim's still in the access. Well, Valheim, there's games like Valheim, like those big survival open world games, those are in early access for a very long time. Game dev takes a really fucking long time. Like a really fucking long time. And it only takes only getting it's only taking longer and longer and longer as time goes on. Like as more tech tech improves and stuff like that. Like like four or five years of like development time is not abnormal. It's pretty pretty normal to be honest. <laughs> Just wild. Like, if a game gets started now, I don't think we'd see it for, like, six, seven years. It would be, like, another generation or two away. It's like all the games that we're hearing and are coming out have been in development for a very long time. Uh, Dig Dog. <clears throat> Get a dog to follow you, and when you are near something hidden under the ground, they will give you a distinctive woof. Which is, which if we could speak dogish, would translate to, here is a spot you must use your shovel master. This is not to be confused with woof, which translates as, I like everything, or woof woof woof, which translates as, I am in a heightened sense of excitement right now. A dog will also produce a bark when near objects of interest that are not buried beneath the ground. A dog will only say bark bark if excitedly answering questions about what that brown stuff is on trees. <laughs> I love the books in this one. Windmill over there. Huh, okay. Interesting. I'm assuming this is the stone location. Crater note number 14. These ponds are for funerals, although Quillians celebrate death and believe their life force returns as part of the nature. Hmm, interesting.
Jacob's letter. Dear friend, I hope you will accept this little bag of money to help you with your future. I may have no need of it soon. Although I will be honest with you, I hope my kindness will be returned in kind. Please keep this to yourself, but I am scared of what is to come. I need a friend at a time like this, and I hope you are that friend. Regards, Jacob. Hmm. In Mellow Gardens, it is said, Ginger Rogers in its bed. Do I hear a meow? Hi. Hello. Hi, boy. Hi. Holy sh whoa Shwa wowie wowie whoa I'm gonna go buy that dog tomorrow. I'm gonna buy me a dog. <laughs> a dog. Oh, dog, dog. I can't wait to buy me a dog. Little dog. I'm the dog, the baby dog. <laughs> a bounty hunter. Although I may fall asleep before I get to the dog. Yeah, I've got a pet cat. Um, you can you can summon them to follow you around whenever you want. From here. Meow. Meow. Sausage dog, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Banjo because Banjo is more like a dog than a cat. I did spend old Jacob's money on the dog, yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, he's like, hey, hey, here's somebody to help you with future. What did you do? You, you bought a dog. Yep. <laughs> hey. Come on, wake up. Big day today. All veil cheer. Summertide is here. Uh, blessings be on you this great day. Every ten years we gather on the green and make offerings to our beloved Druidia. Come, it is time to keep our appointment with the Woodfellow. Welcome, good folk of the Vale. Summertide is here. In the future, the game development will be like a sacred trust. Passed down from generation to generation. Each new generation will inherit an arcane code base. They have to do their best to interpret its meaning and purpose. <laughs> if only the most senior devs allowed to add to it. The idea of a game being called Finished will seem strange and archaic. Sartison is already ahead of the curve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this code base has been passed down for 12 generations. But half of us don't even know what we were trying to make originally anymore. It's glorious days when Geridia, goddess of the veil, stands above all others and opens her arms to our humble offerings. The day we celebrate the end of the season of the sun and ask for blessings so that we can taste the fruitful harvest. Hail the queen of the orchard. As Druidia watches over us, her love will bring growth. It will stave off hunger. It will protect us from disease and from the cold winters to come. Now let us speak the summertide prayer. O oh, goddess of the orchards, the tide of summer fades. Bestow your fruits on we who offer our thanks. Yeah, we're in a cold. We have Vale. We have Quill. We, if, if, we, if we light someone on fire now, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> 
The seeds of Summertide step forth and prepare for the choosing. We, yeah, are we shoving the are we shoving the elderly inside the? As you know, only one may present our tributes to Deridia. Only one may be chosen for the greatest honor in the Vale. Now it is our custom that the gaze of Deridia fall upon the Arbiter. Arbiter. Deridia has chosen one of the twins. Glorious day. Tell us, child, which one shall be our Summertide Herald? What happens when we do this? <laughs> what happens? Are we going to kill them? Old Jacob. Very well. Step into the wood, fellow Herald. You leave us. The, you leave this life a blessed soul, ready to take our offerings into Opal. Oh God, he's going to die. Bathe in her purifying light. Wait, what? He did, we did light him on fire. He turned into leaves. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'd rather that than we lit him on fire. They're gone and they made you choose. I don't believe it. I thought they were going to be all right here, but everything he said was true. Well, we definitely are in a cult, that's for sure. Sibling did not take that very well, but you did you did beautifully. <laughs> they will get over it and realize that it is the natural order of things. No, it's not! It is the way of our world. Do not worry about them. Probably just gone somewhere to reflect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are in a nightmare town. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I thought we were in a peaceful town. I didn't think we were gonna. I think we were gonna fucking sacrifice the elderly. <laughs> Shit, we've been purged. I mean, I I took him out because he gave me money, and I felt like that was a good thing. I did that, right? <laughs> I don't know anything. Anymore. Like Thanos land? What the fuck? Random choice. <laughs> randomly, a sunlight randomly chooses, and then you get to randomly choose who to kill. <laughs> Remember when Stardew Valley came out, and people said they felt like the town was harboring like dark secrets just beneath this charming exterior. Yeah, yeah, they were like, yeah, they were like, hmm, what if we took that idea and just made it a thing? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's, that we just, we did that, alright. So there's something buried here? I said the wolf one is like... Very thing. Just woofing randomly. You want more? 
Kartoffel. Ich weiß nicht, was ich für die need. Mm -hmm. Burgers, two wolves. Oh, you're right. Burgers, two wolves. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it say? Let's make some simpleton stew, shall we? See what I've done wrong here. Some ingredients take longer to cook than ever, so each has its own timer. Choosing ingredients with the lowest sand of the timer first, and we'll move to the chopping board. Yep, best knife for the job will appear. So, here's next time. Three times. I have to get all three times to run out simultaneously. Yep. Okay. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I choose a different? <laughs> right. Did I save my? Yeah. Okay. I save the stuff. Right. Okay. Oh no, I don't think I did actually. Never mind. Let's, let's do that again. So, that one first. So, how do I know? When's the best time to do that? I guess maybe... Cook, yeah, I know. information in my own place. We can find our sibling anywhere. He actually kind of like leaves a little mark as well. It's handy. Okay, well, 
Having the dog definitely seems very handy. Pretty cool. She's up by there. Okay. This might be poo. Avoiding me like the plague. I gift the a trippy mushroom. Can I give you two gifts in a day, or is, is that not doing anything? No. Okay. He dislikes apples. Oh shit! Now I know. Got a statue. All right, let's make some offerings. Uh, any chance for any clay food deal too? Yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, we'll do put a pair on there. We gain one arrow per room. Monster crit chance. Pets. Pet abilities up, pets automatically fed and happy. Walk robles and fish on Wildown Farm are subjected to winter conditions. Chance to gain an extra quality star from each mine node. Chance no loot from each monster. Pet combat ability recharge time increased. Okay. So pets can join us in combat. Each collected herb yields two. Each item loses one quality star. Chance to find seeds from grass cut with sickle. I haven't really done any sickling, but no misfires. Mm. I guess I didn't have to do free. I did free. <laughs> You're going to do one if you want. Oh shit. No. Nah. No. <laughs> no. Nah. We dug it out into the lake. Damn me. I think she's a fan of strawberries. Beware of fell, they change their shape and walk among us. They trick and deceive and play their games. Beware of people who st with strange names. I tell you, which admittedly is practically everyone in Quill. Yeah, everyone does have pretty weird names here. Yeah. I don't know, like, what if I actually use the sickle? Gotta be on crops, I guess. Oh, okay. He's on there as well. Okay, that's pretty good. Sore for sore eyes. Just keep an eye out. I seem to have lost my romance. No, I'm good. I don't want to go. I don't want to go find your shit. 
He's indifferent to strawberries. All right. We wanderers love the open road. Gotta make sure I find all those different... Uh, it's interesting. Can I, like, put things in other people's ones? Hmm, very odd. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just gonna put your house, <laughs> do your house for you. Don't forget if I will, yeah. Na, 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 na. Getting any in any of those? Hmm. I now you don't like milk. We know that. How would you like a simpleton steam? Wow, you didn't even give a shit. It was not, that was not what I was, ex I was expecting more than that, I'll be honest. Boy, barely even cared. IP everywhere by urine urine pot urine urine pot okay <laughs> IP in the bushes IP in the tree IP in the woodland IP all on me IP in the fountain and in the old dark well IP in the valley IP in the dell <laughs> IP, IP when it's dark and IP for a day intellectual property it's everywhere <laughs> You have me. You have me, man. You have me going for a while. Like, like you have me at the beginning bit, and then, and then you got, and then you you sucker punch me with the with the with the intellectual property. Oh, how I love to have been the Herald. I do not blame you for your hard choice, though. The goddesses chose you wisely for the task, and you did not falter. I will miss seeing Jacob's toothless grin. Yeah, me too. Should I go rid of you? I don't care about you. Mm -hmm. Yo, we friends. Have you spoken to Hazel lately? Turns out her fella lived up to his name. Sent to Doolally, I did. Oh yeah, he was a huge asshole, wasn't he? Became a cat lady. She loves nothing else but those cats. Not even her own mum. <laughs> Ginger nut likes blueberry jam. Nice to meet you. What's happening? I would love your sample of your cooking. Do you think you can make something? Sure. Nope, I've only valid items. It's probably, probably fucking fish you want me to make, isn't it? Uh, let's give you a gift. I shall give you the gift of strawberries, as I give to everyone to see if they like strawberries. Do I look like I do I look like a grass to you or any other kind of growy thing? What? What did you what did you just say to me? Good morning, said Milky Moss. Not that Moss talks. Okay. <laughs> Milk Moss rating tip. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What is happening? Alright, we 
give you a gift too. Uh, I gift thee the gift of blooper gem. Okay, you seem fairly unfazed by that. That's fine. If you want to tittle tattle, go talk to the tattle tittles. <gasps> I don't know what that means. I am so confused. What do you mean by that? What? Hey, Milbu, hope you have been doing good, Milhi. Oh, shit. Fee Sakura, thank you for the 37 months. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. A vial of slime. He's slimy. He's slimy. He's slimy. I got slimed. I went to the Nickelodeon Ch Kids Choice Awards and I got slimed. Oh shit. Okay, it's a bit dark and creepy. Oh, it's this fucking guy. Uh, twig twoggy twig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's this like? Hey. Twig twog twiggle dee, my fair weather's waiting for thee. Oh, you must be bursting with excitement. Not many get to meet a real proper fay. Now follow them fairy lights, and I'll I'll dream hop myself to the crossroads and druidia's cross south to the south. And I'll meet you there. Twig twiggle tweed, Mr. Fairweather's waiting for thee. Oh, oh yeah. All right. This is pretty fucking weird. Creepy. Are you awake or are you asleep? Well, here's something you'll be wanting to keep. A gift from Mr. Fairweather himself. It's a real special lantern. It's called the Obscura. And it will let you see things that are normally hidden to those without true sight. Let's just pop that there glass lens of yours in it. Ooh, exciting. But don't stop now. Keep following the fairies, and I'll see you southeast corner of Testy Acres. Ah. Okay. Well, now I understand what that was about. It fit perfectly. I wonder where the missing lenses are. Anyway, take that light there and head to the southeast corner of Testy Acres. Okay. Be, that'll be what that that thing that lady was trying to help us activate was about. They're all just strands in a giant bowl of twine. But your wishes will come true deep in the mine. I got the key for you here. You just follow the fairies all the way to the first mine you come to in Trump Crumble Chalk. Okay. This is creepy. I think, I think he's about to murder me. I'm pretty sure I'm about to be murdered. Which is fine if you know if it has to happen. In Vale Rivers, like a twisty lane, check a chub, twist again. Mm -hmm. I love me some tin ore. <gasps> Even if it does clip through the wall sometimes. Do -do. 
Ooh, she keeping a mushroom. Eh? No? Okay. Mm, here you are in the right place at the right time. No more listening to the daft twig rhyme. Now go on and shine the obscure onto the big stones while you stand on the circle. Now move the beam around till it opens the door. Mr. Fairfove awaits you on the other side with gifts and treasures you can't imagine. But be careful what you wish for. So pleased you could join me again. Now you have seen what true shadows look like. You have seen what a farce the world of humans is. Forcing a child to choose a sacrifice. What small-minded, pitiful creatures they are. <clears throat> but not you. With you being but you begins a lineage that will accomplish wonders. A dynasty that will achieve the complete mastery over all things. And all it takes is a seed. The kin seed. Once it flo flowers, you will be bound to it. You will be bonded to its magic. And though you may succumb to the irresistible call of the grave, your essence will live on as a guardian of your progeny, and each generation stronger than the last. Your spirit will be stronger than any quill has seen before. But first, you must agree to a contract. A mere formality, I assure you. By taking ownership of the Kinseed, you agree to the stipulations in this contract. The Kinseed will allow you to see and speak of all things Fey and grow your family tree. Your children will carry on your legacy as your tree grows, so does your power. Once planted, the contract begins. You may uproot the Kinseed and pass it to any of your children who are of age and join them in spirit, thus continuing to monitor your bloodline. In return for the kin seed, you agree that on the day of your 50th birthday, birthing day, you willingly give your body to Mr. Fairweather. Every heir who inherits the kin seed must do the same. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you have no heirs to pass the kin seed to, you will be offered an orphan to take your place. If you die before your time, Mr. Fairweather agrees to revive you at the cost of one year of your life. This contract is binding upon signing this paper. This initial cost of kin seed is five years of your life, payable up front. Life tax is payable at the end of each human calendar year. Signed, Mr. Fairweather. Okay. Splendid. Then our covenant is in place. Uh, now you must plant the seed on the hill above that your house, above the house you call home. Its roots will be your roots, and it f will flower many times, just as your family will. But that is not my only gift tonight. I wonder what happens if you pick no. It'd be interesting. You have already... Exp I mean, probably just goes... Uh, no, you got to pick it. You've experienced what drudgery and hard work life can bring. And those trinkets can ease your burden. You may choose one of them now. Though you will... Through, though, you, though you will be able to call upon me in the future if you wish to trade for more. In any case, I will pay you a visit at midnight strikes at the, end, at the year's end to collect my modest fee for any services rendered. Till the next time, my child. Time to upgrade from dandelions to this mechanical timepiece. Stock it with food. Glutton's trough. Stock it with food to feed your animals automatically with this elegant trough. Secret fey pathways are yours to use with this marvelous mystical key. Uh, I think you age up five years, I imagine. I, cause I, I, I think they're gonna, they're gonna do a time jump now, so that we can do the thing. Cause there's a bunch of stuff like you can't do this as a kid. So I imagine like, you know, you know, there's jump up to an adult, so we can actually start like buying. Come, we can buy, start buying, buying shops, and you know, f finding a wife and siring children and whatnot. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'll have the clockwork clock for now. Live seat life tax, kin seed five, payment is due five. Oh, oh my god, we changed drastically. We turn into a hipster. Yeah, here we go. Complete the prologue. Yeah, it looks like we've jumped ahead in time. Everyone's aged up. Is that... Is that you? I don't believe it. I thought I'd never see you again. Where have you been? Oh, okay, we just straight up disappeared for five years. Oh, she hates us. They hate us. What do you mean we, you don't know? You've been gone five years. You left us. You left me without saying a word. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. Yeah, you're just like, ah, oh, it's been five... You wake up, it's been fucking five years. We could have run away together, but you just disappeared. You just abandoned me. You're not making any sense. I tried looking for you at first, but Uncle Bill made sure I always came back. Didn't want to lose me too. And he started getting sick, and I had to stay and look after him. Somebody had to. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, this game just took a turn, didn't it? You believed in us. All we wanted was to make you proud. Perhaps you will both find each other in the woods and run together. I will join you one day. Thank you for everything you did for us. May the waters take you well. Goddesses bless you. After that, it was my turn to leave. There was no point sticking around. The only reason I came here today is because it's my birthday, our birthday, and I thought, I don't know what I thought. I never want to see this place again. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it. What's left of it. But before I go, take this. It's, I like how my cat and dog are just still chilling here. <laughs> it's a key to that door we always wanted to look behind. I just couldn't bear to open it. But maybe you should look inside yourself. I'll be in town for a while. Maybe see what's going on at the Festival Green these days, you know. If you want to say goodbye before I leave. Owen, happy birthday. What a turn of events. Willow's Down Farm is now yours. You'll be able to raise um, a family here and use it as your base of operations. For now, though, head to the pond west of your house. Uh, and on the crest of the hill, plant the kin seed on the spot there. You can also leave the veil if you wish, as you are now of age. So feel free to explore the world beyond. Better still, you won't fall asleep at 11pm. Spring is here. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Yeah. Dear Concrete Halloween, your friendship means a lot to me, so I'm sending you this gift. Okay, what is it? It's a strawberry, thank you. Annual events. Births. George Brown was born to Arthur Brown and Teresa Brown. Whoa, our dog is like a big dog. Finding your mind all dizzy, here's some work to keep you busy. Try your hand as a blacksmith apprentice, explore the dark woods and beat up some monsters. Play some games and win prizes. Do notice board tasks. Master skills by taking the masters their taking the masters their requests.
This is the Kin Seed titles, to tree screen. Here you can uproot the Kin Seed to end your life early and pass on to your chosen heir. If you have no heir, a choice will be given. It is advised to nurture your heirs as any stats they gain from learning will be added to the next generation, making them more powerful each time. You can also view challenges here. Uh, fill these objectives during your lifetime for rewards. Those, these are stat token, which will increase stats, fair weather token, which reduces the cost of arcane items, stamina token, which gives you an extra dot of stamina in com combat. Mm. Reputation, total reputation received, total friendships made, animal race, play the racing mini game. Wedding, how many ma <laughs> married many times? Make a lot of potions at the apothecary. Okay, well, damn. This game, uh, this game took a turn there, didn't it? <laughs> Ooh, well met again, dreaming one. My name is Pot. Recall our fun. I asked you questions very deep long ago when you did sleep. Lost your kin, but don't be glum. A legacy is yet to come. The farm is yours, and I, your friend, will dust the half and beds to mend. What's next for you, I would guess? Dreams of doors, so seek it, yes. Northgate beckons, and the world outside adventures many and pigs to ride. Another gift I give to you, pot by name and nature too. This will gather reputation, so off you go without hesitation. See the world and fill the jar. Make friends near, do tasks afar. Slay many beasts, attack, parry, block. Own many shops and raise your stock. Seek the ones that lay below, those who sleep from long ago. Then you can a legend be. Go now and make history. The reputation earned allows you to collect rep from various sources. Raising friendship tiers, slaying monsters, completing tasks, winning certain events, owning a business, and getting positive customer energy. Running a shop is the most effective way to earn rep. Rep will allow you to unlock perks for your business via the ledger. These perks will help your goods store. Blacksmith or apothecary become even more successful and efficient, thus bringing in even more rep and money. To view your reputation and renown levels, select the progress screen via the icon in the bottom left of the main play screen. Uh, and also the villain pause menu. Damn, they're throwing a lot of shit at us right now. Happy New Year, Madness. Happy New Year. I guess some of those kids might have grown up a bit now. Vale, Summer Down, Mellow Fields. Oh my god, there's so many places. Whoa, Marsh. Oh my gosh. And we got our family. Herbert Lemon. Herbert Moon. What are you whiffing about? Ah, he's not around. Let me nick this shit. What are you talking about? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Tragedy and fey dealings. Herbert knows about such things. Herbert knows what you seek. Now you have age, you can pass the gate and find it. Yes, you can. Seek the circle. The world beyond waits. With adventure and danger, Herbert wishes you well. If you need to protect yourself, seek Master Jorgen in Rivermore. Just beyond this door. Now go, you must. Look who it isn't. What are you buying? What, what are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? Well, what are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? Uh, so the point of this game is to make all have kids move on, move on to them. Do the NPCs also have kids? Uh, I don't know, actually. Good point. I assume so. Well, I am buying a vial of slime if you're selling. Or at least gifting it. That's a mechanic we're bound to for this interaction. Many gratitudes. Uh, I have a vial of slime right here. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Would you like an egg? May I offer you an egg at this trying time? Find the monolith. How do? Let's sort the buyers and the spires, those who can see me from the ones who can't. If you can see value here, you are not shopping, you are shoplifting. You see these goods? Never seen daylight. Highlight, all the folk of ga all, <laughs> all the folks of gaslight. Anyone like jewelry? Handmade in summer down, hand stolen in the afterlife. Now then, what can I do for you? Do you want to buy this bundle of monster parts? The payment is a simple curse. No, I'm good. I don't want to. I don't want. To, I don't want a curse. I don't even know what the fuck that is yet. I'm only just. I'm only just woken up five years after. Five years later. the first of the Mellowfield regions. This is just a little sample of you of, for you to experience more soon. Sunflower. Summer and Autumn give a toot when they see the whistle root. By dirty patches where trees sleep, lovers truffle buried deep. Powder taken neat will make you think you have duck's feet. That sounds lovely. Nine ball pool. Pumpkins are too big to boil. You find these things in mellow field soil.
frail goddess of fields by Maypole. If you have ever seen a shining form standing in the fields, a strong fair woman with cornrows in her hair and sunlight in her eyes, then you have caught a glimpse of frail. Her blessings can usher in bountiful crops and imbue vegetables with vigor and f flavor. Displease her though, and you will be harvesting nothing but withered disappointments. The good folk of Mellow Fields know better than to get on the wrong side of the goddess of the fields. They worship Frail above all others and long to hear her laughter rippling through the gently swaying wheat as they compete to grow the biggest, hardiest vegetables in her honor. By that rich laughter, but that rich laughter stops once the harvest has been brought in. For if there is one thing Frail hates above all else, it is the barren cold of winter. Whoa, what the fuck? These are huge. These things are fucking huge! Oh my god, there's like a whole fucking village? What the hell? Sheep market event. Sheep racing event. Let's find this monolith before we start meeting all these other people. Kind of massive. Oh yeah, I mean, look at the world map. It seems to be multiple towns <laughs> with multiple different people in. Jogan in Rivermoon. Oh. Region lies to the north, but you'll need to go from out to the west to someone down the reach. Oh, we gotta get that one as well. place for the monolith apparently. Within this tomb lay the grand masters of legend, heroes who forge the agreement who guard the mirror. If you seek judgment of your worth, you must open the door. Only those skilled enough uh, only this, only this skilled may enter for consideration. Learn five skills and stand on the stone circle. They will grant you entry only. Judgment will come for the mirror itself. <laughs> and then at the bottom it just says Twig was here. Twig was here. Learn five skills. Okay. Okay, we only have two skills so far. Alright. So we've got to learn some more skills before we can continue with that. Alright, where the fuck is Rivermore? Oh, that's Rivermore. There we go. Cunning Plots. That's a, that's a great name. You ain't nothing but a hound dog by Pelvis Leslie. Jesus. A drooling mouth filled with knife sharp teeth, eyes of fire staring hatefully at you. Skin as tough as leather with a dark, ominous silhouette as it hunches over its next meal. But enough about my wife. Oh my god, what is this? Rodney Dangerfield? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa, a drooling mouth filled with knife sharp teeth. <laughs> Let me tell you. Eyes of fire. 
staring hatefully at you. <laughs> oh, anyway, enough, enough talking about my wife. <laughs> I hate my wife. <laughs> I was taking a shit, you know, I thought to myself, you know what? I hate my wife. <laughs> I love when you come over and let sell me. Uh, let's talk doggies. The Boghast is the beast of pure fury. Packs of them roam toughwood at night, hunting for those who dare stay. That dare stay, stray. Some of them were somehow tamed by the mighty og ogre. A whistle sends them into a rage, and they attack ceaselessly with leap and bite, eyes glowing in the night. Oh, oh, oh. I, I feel weird not having a tie on doing a, a Rodney Dangerfield impression. It just feels like wrong. Ooh, we just go to date location. Love Falls. Welcome to the Love Falls, baby. Oh, so we can come here. At any time, eh? Interesting. Seem to be multiple. We need multiple different lenses as well. It looks like. Let's open up the other doors. Turn to see my wares, child. I have a fine selection from my humble burrow. I'm a collector of curios from many places. The price, as always, is life. Now let us peek inside the sack. Take your time to choose. How much easier could life be with these marvels? This year's offerings are definitely intriguing. Show the strange device items to identify their traits. Feed this clever machine rotten apples to produce random seeds. It costs two years to get one of them. Shit. I'll stick on my clock for now. Yo, you want a you want a magnifying glass? That'll be uh, two years of your life. What the fuck? Oh, gears, an actually useful book by Simon Bellbottoms. I think Simon Bellbottoms might be a nod like to Simon Belmont. As in like Crack Castlevania, possibly. If you're insane enough to enter Toughwood or brave enough, then here are some things it is imperative you should know when encountering that most horrid of monsters, the Ogre. Uh. These brutes are big and strong because they eat their greens. They eat the browns too, and the smiths, and the rest of the village. The primary weapons of ogre, ogres are the very primitive things they call a big stick of wood. So basically a tree. They smash it down and you really shouldn't try to block it, unless you're looking to lose some height from your personage. Ogres also like to be sporting and toss a big rock in the air to smash at you with their club. Scholars believe they learn this from an ancient club sport called, an ancient sport called a clubbing. Uh, lastly, ogres love dogs, big dogs. They want to think they they want to think they are the big boys of the estate, and so having dangerous hounds like Barghests at their command fulfills that role. Listen for the whistle, which is a basic command that means rip them up. Absolute twats, a lot of them. Shoot, that's what say twats. No one else would say. <laughs> Found in the botany books because it's made up. Bowing Nancy. Can I hit that? Okay. Oh, 
have to move my legs. Sorry, buddy. You all look, you do look very comfy there, and I don't like to disturb you, but if I leave my legs like this, they're gonna go dead. Things that go bump in your tights by Quincy Sensual. Since the dawn of dawn, humanity has sought to reproduce for the survival of the species and for recreation. And let's face it, that's the fun one. <laughs> in olden, olden times, a man would climb volcano. It is the fun one. In olden times, man would climb volcanoes and wrestle giant lizards in order to prove his worth. Is that like a star? Is, it, is, that, is, that, is that a reference to that weird Star Trek fucking episode where he wrestles the lizard man? <laughs> it's, I feel like that's some sort of weird, weird reference to fucking Star Trek. Uh, in olden times, a man would climb volcanoes and wrestle giant lizards in order to prove his worth. As time ticked by, the male would become more polite and would climb mountains and wrestle lions to prove his love for his lady. Oh, hang on, what are these referencing now? More time passed and the woman now took command of her new freedoms and men were left to complete, compete in gladiatorial arenas on a thing called television. So we're in like a post-apocalyptic world then. After the catastrophes that befell mankind, the basic survival needs resurfaced. Thankfully, these days, it's a much simpler process for much simpler folk. All you have to do is be married, then make a gift of a rabbit condol, corn doll to your beloved spouse. The wheel of delight will then begin. If the goddess likes what they see, a stork will deliver your baby in one week. Or babies if you're doubly blessed. Why did hem humans never use this system from the start? It would have saved a lot more, a lot of innocent pickles from being devoured by hungry pregnant females. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Only as great as the sun rises can minnows be caught as little prizes. Climbing mountains, wrestling mountains. What does he mean by that? Sunny days and pools by flowers, fire, fish swim, and gain their powers. There's too many people to meet right now. I gotta focus on getting back to the thing. And, uh, back to Riverbowl. Okay, so where is Jorgen then? They f f for fucking sake, they often curse when mid midwoods monsters steal their purse. Oh, my foot has gone to sleep. A witty repo, rip a witty repost by Parry Manilo. Parry Manilo. Okay. On guard, allez, touche, turtle away. These were terms used by the ancients. You right, Bat Joe? Uh, and found in ba uh, and found in battered and crusty tombs depicting the noble art of stabbatry. The art was also known as hackathon, chop chop, hag and slash, and somewhat bizarrely, fencing. <laughs> hag and slash. <laughs> yes, people used to hit each other with garden dividers and castle cattle stoppers. 
To become a master, a, a master of the violent sports, one must really get to grips with the parry. As any good blade runner bean knows, pressing left trigger just as the enemy is striking will deflect the attack. This also leaves them open for a counter. Simply mash the buttons like a madman to give the enemy's face a new work. A perfect parry and a good counter cost no stamina. So they are perfect for those who, with skill who want to watch their energy. Learn these methods well, and you too can become an elegant dancer in a disco of blood. <laughs> I have no idea what a disco is, but it sounds like something you would throw through someone's skull. It does. It does. Barley is the root of drinks. I drank too much, so I can't think. Who is a sheep? foot has gone to sleep. Oh, banjo. Oh, banjo. Booty, booty, banjo. You put my foot to sleep. Where is he then? Oh, is this him? That's a trader. Stink bomb. Healing sauce. HP saucy. <laughs> I love the smell of flame file in the morning. Will the scales choose full healing or damage? Mazes amaze me by me and her. Who loves to lick a labyrinth? Who likes to delve into dungeons? Frolic in forests? Or even just wander into the woods killing and looting? You do? Then read on. There are three dark forests in Quill. Simple wood, midwood, and tough wood. Oh, like, yeah, simple wood, midwood, tough wood. Each is more dangerous than the last. There are rumors of a legendarily hard place called the Nightmare Hollow, but that sounds like dream-laden claptrap, or DLC, as I like to call it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. In each forest, there's a set number of glades or runes, if you will. You continue on your path, and the creatures that assail you will be weaker uh, and more susceptible to death. However, head deeper, and you will find they start to get tougher and nastier. Why in Quill would anyone venture deeper, then? Loot! Lots and lots of lovely, higher-quality loot. The deeper you go, the deeper your pockets need to be. You may also find various other glades within the forest. Traps, puzzles, challenges, and mysteries. Oh, how amazing it would be to find them when we put... To find them when we put more into the build. So prepare... <laughs> okay. So prepare, prepare thyself well. Bring wards and charms, a good meal, a bow, and I may also suggest two swords. Ah, this looks like the guy. I'm choking. Ugh. Have you come to batter some beasties? Mash up some monsters? Not in that state, you aren't. Not seen you before, and I would feel bad if I was to let you go wandering in there and get eaten. I am Jogan, master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I can teach you the basics of, to at least let myself feel slightly less guilty when you do get chomped on like a meat lollipop. Meet me inside the burrow just over there to the west. Uh, and let's get cracking some skulls. Bring a sword. I don't I don't have a sword. Get a sword. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Is there a time skip? Yeah. Uh, five years. We uh, we we actually disappeared for five years and aged up five years after we met. What's his face? So basically, time five years passed and we just dis we disappeared for five years. And our sibling was like, "Where the fuck did you go?" And they left the town because, and our uncle died, and everything fell apart. <laughs> Peg the dog. Us off the bed, though. And we don't need to sleep. Uh, I, I think you still need to sleep. You just you just don't automatically fall asleep at ten anymore. I think like sleeping. I think you'll probably still get fucked up if you don't sleep. I would imagine. The tough woods dark and crumbling walls. Remnants grab you by the holes. <laughs> like balls. <laughs> You're still up here. Okay. This place is creepy at night. I don't like it. Hey, is this weirdo? Look how shiny I got those wind winders. Winders? 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 We got ourselves a real ass clock now. Yeah, if we don't give offerings to him, he'll me he'll mess our shit up. And we'll be all fucked up and goopy. That's mm, sprinting a bit. Chicken racing in summer now.
Uh, great to see you. What's happening? Who will buy these wonderful roses? Such a sight has never been seen. Well, it would be a sight if I had a sunflower to show off. I think I have a sunflower. Just what was required. Cheers. Friendship rating up. Enjoy the strawberries. Here's a secret for you. I dislike blueberries above everything else. Alright, good to know. Legend and buy the shop. Jeremy Irons, Jeremy's Irons, I love that name, is valued at 500. It comes with the following item. Hmm. Okay. 500. If you can appease or control knockers, then you can get them to do your mining for you. I wonder if there's such a way. Sounds like I'm hinting. He does a wallet at 500, okay. Loot not found in crates. Oh dear. Strawberry pie, honey, strawberry, and apple. Mm -mm. Just like mother used to make. Just like mother used to not make. Fucking lazy old hag. So I gotta go to Summers Down and get a sword. In the daytime. Should be a bit easier.
A Bowl of Customs by Billy Get Down. Billy Get Down. The land of Quill is steeped in superstition and quirky customs. From maypole dances and fart fests to cheese rolling and the underpants frenzy. <laughs> the fuck is that? Many local events take place at certain times during the year. Did you know that in the village of Copperpot, they burn giant purple candles to keep Daddy Longlegs at bay? A cast of bizarre, benevolent, and malevolent characters turn up within a certain season and carry out their traditions, whether that be to spew out candies when hit with a slingshot, hypnotic dances and chewing off of any face that has not been smeared with herbs, Fred Barleycorn, Mag the Mog Hog, Bean Baggy, Tickling Tom, Hook Fingers, Toggling Tom Hook Fingers and Shuffling Nana, among others, both amuse and terrify in equal measure. Be sure to determine uh, when these appearances occur and take appropriate action. Wear your charms, bring your lantern light, candles, and scatter gooseberries around your home. Quill is the land of full of color, life, danger, and intrigue. Learn its ways lest you offend. Spirits, or worse still, get your heads ripped off. That would be worse. How do you? Daisy Wood, hello. Dad said I have to be polite to everyone. Treat others how you would want to be treated yourself, Dad says. I need to add some actual taste to my cooking. Have you got any catnip? What? No. no I'm not giving you catnip, you little weirdo. <laughs> if you want tiltile, go talk to the tattle tiddles. <laughs> Caroline Pepper. Oh, please tell me not another joker. There comes a time in one's life when the jokes cease to sparkle, when puns lose their luster, and the only thing left is to make vague references. <laughs> Peter Pepper likes... I heard Peter Pepper likes fish. Peter Pepper picked a pepper? Peter Pepper picked a pepper. 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 Edward Wood. Edward Wood. Well, greetings. Welcome to Summerdown. Good to see a new face that isn't full of crumbs and sore stains. Just me and Daisy here. She's not the trusting type since what happened to her mother, but she's a good lass. Whoa. Oh, whoa. I give everyone strawberries. It's my go-to gift. Because I have too many. Oh, whoa. Zach Bacon, thank you for the 11 months. Yeah, possibly an Edward reference. <laughs> It'd be interesting if it is actually Edward Wood. Edward Wood. They were fell, they change their shape and walk among us. They trick and deceive and play their games. Beware of people with strange names. Everyone fucking has strange names in this place. That's the thing. How am I supposed to, am I supposed to determine what's strange or not? <laughs> Hannah Hammer. How do you do? We make pretty good items in our smithy. So if you want to buy out... New Nez is your woman. I shape, she ships. <laughs> yeah, they've had Hitler. We've had a, we've had a, just a, a whole, whole mess of references. To be honest, Gran. <laughs> just a, just a, just a, just a nightmarish amount of references, really. Uh, wow, this is expensive. Okay, it looks like we can buy maybe a thingy from here. Neris Nails. Hello there, I'm Neris Nail. It's funny because I work in a blacksmith's where we make nails. I prefer painting nails than making them personally. <laughs> yes, a new friend. I love collecting friends like I do nail polish. I bet you think it's strange that I work here and I'm nothing like a blacksmith. I'm, a, I'm not very good at anecdotes, but it's a funny story. I told my father that I wanted to work with nails and he said I should try here. I didn't know it was a blacksmith till I got accepted by Hannah. I meant fingernails. Oh, well. <laughs> no, I love that check. I meant fingernails, but oh well, I guess I work at a blacksmith now. Hmm. Tin sword for tin soldiers. Decorative mold and mold used for blacksmithing. Bucket mold. Do not pale into insignificance. A sword mold. The shape of things to cut. Copper ore. Mm -hmm. 
Copper utensils. Copper load of my fork. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Make some, let's make a sword, shall we? Oh yeah, let's go. and fire. Oh, I think I've seen that, yeah. Competitive blacksmithing. What can't they compete in? Inventory. Oh, a freestyle sword. Hell yeah, let's go. Alright, we have a sword. Time to go to Jorgen in the Barrow. Oh my god, Harry Buckle. Oh my god, it's the Chuckle. Oh shit, they, it, it proper is the Chuckle Brothers. His brothers over there. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking forgot about the Chuckle Brothers. I think one of them's dead now. To me, to you, to me. To brew, to brew, to me. <laughs> Can I get can I get the can I get the summit to sup? My brother and, brother and I run a local drinking estab eb establishment. <laughs> I think I've ever had too much drunk. You seem like a good egg. I grew up on a chicken farm. Every day we had eggs. At least we didn't have to shell out for any. My pops used to say eggs are great, which wasn't very profound really. When the chickens ganged up and killed him, mother said we should leave. <laughs> what? Mother said we should leave our home and set up a new business in his honor. Instead, we decided to open a tavern in his. <laughs> Chickens ganged up and killed him? I feel as cheery as the sun and more satisfied than a pig in a pie shop. I think I have a poppy. Mm. Harry Buckle. Let's see, let's see his brother, shall we? God, they even look like him. That's actually amazing. Soul buckle. To mead, to brew, a flagon for where you're flagging. My brother and myself own the local pub. You must pop in sometime. Not literally. That would be messy. You don't look like a balloon. <laughs> oh, God. What's happening is that I have an urge for some fish. Specifically river trout. Could you satisfy my craving? I actually do have a river trout. Hunter. Greetings, stranger. You look like you can handle yourself. Fancy a bit of work cleaning up the dark forests? I don't want to hire those up for the challenge, though. If you can do as I say, then I'll reward you. With some nice bundles of items. What say you?
guess we'll probably be going to simple wood first, so we'll have that one. Damn, I must have didn't know you were so into smithing. Awoke, we've awoken a deep, a deep smithing desire inside of you. Ready to learn the fine art of clobbering? Then let's get cracking some ribs. <laughs> Finally, we get to see what the combat's like now. Right, let's get cracking. We've got that with with you with the knacking. As you see, you have your four pos three positions you can start. Uh, uh, you can move to each move depletes your stamina. A tad. Combat is all about stamina. Your stamina is shown below your feet. Try moving up and down with the left stick or the BS and Okay. Great. Not Use that to dodge incoming attacks. Now, clobbering. See those dummies? If you click on one with your cursor or use Y, X, or A buttons for the corresponding enemy positions. Uh, you can't directly attack the support at the back, so you need to remove all the other enemies first to bring them forward in range of your sword. Try whack a few dummies, but watch your stamina. Each hit costs one section of stamina, and remember this. You can only attack along your lane or diagonally adjacent. So from the middle position, you can attack top and bottom too. But if you're at the top or bottom, you can only reach the middle position or the lane you're on. I'm just very into overly expensive kitchen knives. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, a good kitchen knife is fucking, it's pretty fucking sweet. Nicely done. Now let's add some obstacles. Enemies can place down things on what we call nodes to hurt or hinder you. These are the positions halfway between you and the monsters. Some you can smash, but others you can evade by attacking diagonally. Try smashing these dummies and avoid the obstacles. Nice. Now you can also use items too. Press B on the gamepad or E on the keyboard. Oh, careful there, buddy. Don't sit on the keyboard too much. Uh, click on the target to use the item or use the left stick to highlight the target and press A to use. Uh, items can be used on yourself, nodes, or can be thrown directly at the enemy. I have given you selection, so try to use them all now. Now let's teach you some defense. You can block attacks with left trigger or space. Meet Bob the Hob. He's very well trained. I won't hurt you, but try to block his attacks. You can see when he will be able to when you when he will be able to do an action with that little bar under his health bar. Which is the little bar under him. It's not as confusing as I made it sound. Stuff. However, if a monster has high strength, then the stri higher strength and your toughness, they'll chip damage you through the, your block. So either toughen up or be careful. And watch your health in the top left. Some items can heal you a tad, and in the forest, uh, campfires you can use to heal up too. That's the basics done. I can teach you about timing your hits so you can do extra ones in an amazing combo. You can learn that yourself. Now let's test you out, Bob, Grob, and Timothy. If you can get me a two from one of them, I'll teach you a trick.
knockout. You knocked his tooth right out. As promised, here's a trick that will save your skin. Should you be good enough to pull it off under pressure? It's called parry. All you do is time your block as the enemy is swinging at you. If you do it right, then they'll be stunned mo, and you won't lose stamina and can counter quickly. Parrying can also knock back projectiles, so if someone chucks something at you, hoy it back at them. You can try that for yourself when you're fighting. Learn how to read the baddies' attack tells. Good luck out there, and come see me at my house if, in Rivermore if you ever want to learn more skills. Cool. All right, combat's actually pretty fun. What is minutes of uh, minute of islands? I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's so many things here. This is the combat loadout screen. From here, you can select up to two weapons, a ward, and a charm. Pets and a meal for campfires. When you, you when you are prep, press start. Once in the forest, there are ten depths. The deeper you go, the harder it gets, but you will receive higher star rating loot. The indicators in the top right of the UI tell you the room you are in and the depth. There are 15 rooms and 10 levels of depth. A rescue task will always be in the last room of any depth. Uh, so it will just depend on what you loot you want on the way. A campfire will heal you, but you but take you three depths deeper. You can retreat after any combat with your loot intact. Die and you'll get a portion of the loot gained, but will lose a chance. Use up your chance and it will cost one year of life to be revived. So be careful. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Bring our uh, voice with us. Play plus one strength stuns monster by barking. Oh my god. Hags minus two. Play plus one end. Hags minus two. Chance of double loot from hags, banshee, and remnants. Barge monsters causing damage and stamina reduction. Hmm. Scrolling narrative puzzle platform of a very cool visual style. Mm. Okay, minute of I'll have to look at them. Adventure time and visuals. Ooh. Minutes of violence. Kind of cool.
shit. Okay, now we're getting tougher. some brass and make a wish. Ooh, let's throw in 20. Double damage round ahead. Go kick their bottom. Ooh, okay. Light the campfire and eat your meal. Taking a break will cause you to wander far deeper into the woods. No one good. You get harder as you go in. Uh, I think it might be a good idea to leave. Take loot and leave? Yeah. I think that'll be a 
Good idea. Okay, uh, we're getting a little bit low on health there. That's cool though. I like that. Hmm. Okay, come back and that's actually a lot more fun than I expected. Uh, get the timing down to stun counter enemy attacks. Projectiles can be affected. Okay, we've got parry. Um, well, if I die, I'll lose, I'll lose like a, a year. Third combo strike. Ooh. Gain an extra pet slot. Ooh. I haven't got any nymph wings. I got two knob eyes, though. Mm, okay, so we need to get monster drops to actually get skills. Okay. Or rather not die. So now you your head looks teeny tiny. My head is teeny tiny. That's the problem, is the, the more the more muscle I put on, the more the smaller my head looks. Little teeny tiny pinhead boy. Okay. Who you call it a pinhead? Okay, I guess the fact that they're red means that we can't grow them in this season. Is what I'm going to assume. Yeah, we definitely need to get our crops on at some point. Range combat. Find Moon the Archer. Ooh. Moon is the master of range skills. Moon awaits in downhill north of Nadia's glory. What the fuck is that? Seek out Twig, Old Mother Hubbard, Jogan, Moon, Marsha, and fulfill their requests. Marsh did. Who's Marsh did? Muscle the man. Got moon to learn about the skill tree. Get the timing down to uh, some of the steam. fishing. Seek out Marshden to learn more about the skill. Who the fuck is Marshden? <laughs> more about gardening. Hmm. Okay. Um. I need to make a bunch of these simpleton stew things in order to get leveled up a bit here. Hey Jim. Take two, uh, two jams. I need honey and mint. 
feel like I have not seen any mint. Do they have to be um, a certain level? How, oh, they want two stars. Uh. Play amazing cultivation simulator? No, I didn't. Right, hang on. What was that? What was that? What was that game? Uh, Minute of Islands. Okay. I wanted this. Let me have a look at that. Oh, I do like the visual style on that. Oh, wow, yeah, I really like the visual style on that. Narrative puzzle platform. Hmm. Damn, yeah, visually that looks really, really impressive. I've got a demo as well. Damn. Amazing cultivation. This one. Rise up in a search for immortality in the strategy sim and management game by based on Chinese mythology. Rebuild your sect and train new disciples through the path of cultivation. Research magic and gather mystical artifacts. Face ancient dangers and other sects in your path to spiritual ascension. Okay. Oh, right. I need to go for a wicked piss. I will be right back. out on my desk. <laughs> you look like a little fat boy, don't you? Oh, he looks very cozy there. All right, I shall be right back. Well, momentarily. Give me like a... I might, I, might, I, might, I might take a little extended break, maybe. Like a little extendo break. Extendo break. Woo! <laughs> extendo. The extendo. The extend, extending break. Ah, oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I was, going, I was going for something there, and I don't know what it was. When you say, like, getting the voice 100%, what do you mean? Like, I have no issues with Chris Pratt's Mario at all. I would rather that than listening to Mario trying to say full sentences in the Charles Martinet voice, which usually sounds like a nightmare. Some kind of Charles Martinet nightmare.
Uh, right. Jack Black could be slightly deeper. Um, I suppose. I suppose. Milby is muscular from My Hammer Hero Macadamia. There's a character called Muscular. <laughs> isn't that the king? Isn't that the kingpin's body from uh, uh, Spider Verse? I look like that if I keep eating fucking donuts. <laughs> eating donuts at midnight. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. Oh, I recognize him. I think I saw that episode. Jesus, what is what is his power? Is his muscles come on come out come out of his body? It's terrifying. Okay. There's a new day. Let's feed our pets first. Fed up. Beautiful. Let's knock down some things from uh, the tree. I'm sorry, buddy. I can get worse stars when I knock them down. Do you want me to catch a fish or two for you? This is the room we couldn't go in. Witch Witch by Bella Bestchat. <clears throat> Need help sorting which witch is which? Our informative guide will help you identify the hacks from the hack. No, oh, I've already read this one. Oh, yeah. Uncle Bill's letter. If you're reading this, then you have returned, and I'm gone back into the cycle of nature. Pray to the goddesses every day for your safe return. Your sibling looked after the farm well, but I could sense I was holding them back. Your strange friend Twig told me, he's not my friend, he's just a weirdo, told me you would return but could not tell me where you had gone. That gave me hope you would come home. If you are reading this, then know that I am very proud of you. I just have a feeling you will become an extraordinary person one day. I actually used to dream you owned a business, many in fact. How I would love, how I would have, uh, I would love those dreams to be a reality. You would be a great success, I am certain. Perhaps we'll meet again one day, as I run around your garden or flutter past your window at night, looking for the light. 
with love, William Stone. Oh. Tin Ward. Right, I need to catch some river trout. Leveling up fishing. In the veil, you will see river trout happy is going to be in the veil. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I better do some watering the plants as well. Your friendship means a lot, so I'm sending you this gift. It is a strawberry. Thank you. Oh, yeah, actually, I gotta leave my thingy behind. So I don't get cursed by that fucking bastard. It's a lot of things of. Wow, the larder is very full of milk. Okay. Sure, what the point of putting them in the larder is, to be honest. Maybe I'll understand later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so what is there today? Goods market, marks of life. Ooh, right, yeah, I want to go there. Uh, yeah, okay, I need to go to the market. Get me some seeds, so I can uh, grow some beautiful crops. <laughs> yeah, spend on them, get some crops, get a bunch of meals cooking. Uh, Five gold is not worth doing. Fifteen frame points. Nah, fuck it. I'm tempted to do that. I was just gonna. I feel like it's gonna take me a long time to get all that.
Oh my god, there's like an army of people just appeared. Uh, carrot seed. I mean, how many carrots do I actually fucking need to grow here? Oh, there she is. I used to think this is why you ran away, because of what happened here at the Summertide Festival. Now it turns out it was Fey magic that took you? But it was still your decision, wasn't it? That's how it works with the Fey. You have to be the one who says yes. First, I hated Uncle Bill for letting Aunt Rose die like this. Oh, this is how she died. Oh, shit. But they really both, but they both really believed in this stuff. Everybody does, so I don't know. Maybe they're right. What I'm trying to say is, I hated you for a while too, and for leaving me. But maybe that's the way it was supposed to be. So, I'm glad you're back and that you're alright. But I've got my own life now, finally. Exploring the rest of Quill like I always wanted. Who knows, maybe we'll run into each other again one day. Goodbye. Damn, she fucking hates me. I'm gonna stay here a while and just clear my head. Please leave me be. Uh, she don't like me. She does love honey. I don't have any honey. Instead, I will give you a strawberry, as I do to everybody. She feckin' hates me. This is, uh, there's a bit more to this than Stardew in the sense that, like, it's not really, farming isn't the main focus in this. You can farm, but it's, uh, there's a lot going on in this game. Oh, wheat seeds. Oh, that's actually definitely worth doing. It's not that expensive to gather that many, and you can get that much money back for it. That's a way better idea. This is more like a fable-ish kind of thing, in the sense that with what they're going for. Right, okay, so that's enough to give to the guy. CD dealings, Pinterhood, right. Boot winters, okay. Where is where is boot winters? Oh, he's the guy in the that shot, right? Okay, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I always think of Nicolas Cage in The Wicker Man every time I see that too. Wickless, Wickless Mage. a magical sack that could catch monsters and make them your servant. It was woven with dragon mane hair, and they say it was sold to a man with big teeth. Why well, wouldn't give for such a thing? Hmm. I heard Holly Kettle really doesn't like mushrooms. Okay. I will I will make sure not to give her any. <clears throat> so if we get like five hundred gold, we could buy a business. By a blacksmith. A rainbow mushroom? Yeah, enjoy, buddy, enjoy. up there. That was very weird. Hey, there's the druid here. Yeah. I don't know why the song here always reminds me of something from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Might be frog seam. It vaguely reminds me of. Nice to meet you. God damn, these people want so many fucking gassy apples, it's insane. Make a copper sword? Is, is that like better?
Damn it. One stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a four star copper sword. Oh, shit. Right, so is that better than. Oh, maybe I thought they used truncheon. Strong versus banshees and croakers. Oh, okay. They're different against. They're good against different things. I see. Zinc swords. I don't know how good a zinc sword would be. <laughs> I don't know if they like better than regular sickle. Thank you for the five gift subs. Gifted a sub to Beck, Boelum, Spitfire Slayer, Alyssa Lee, Rado, and Blaze Phoenix. Phoenix. Thank you very much, Super Lift Sail Pearl the That's super kind of you. I don't know what I did to deserve such kindness. But I massively appreciate it. Oh my god, it's a four star sickle. Fucking four star sickle, boy. Fucking four star sickle. PM. What the hell? Where the hell did the time go? Hey there, nice cut. Copper sickle, tin sickle, used by serial killers. Paper sword, strong versus nymphs. Yeah, I don't know what the point of having different kinds of material sickles are. Or different kinds of shovels, to be honest. With you. Star shovel, okay, okay. Um, I guess we'll make a 
a, a zinc sickle as well. <laughs> Why not? Jesus, man, I'm making, I'm making all sorts of good shit here. It's like a, it's like a pretty good way to make money now. Get the perfect on those sometimes. Ah, a bit too early. Maybe a better crafted shovel. Did I, did I make that? I wait, 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 hang on. We've got the we've got the copper shovels. That's, that's all right. Better pickaxe would be nice. Still don't know what the different materials actually do, if anything. Maybe nothing at all. Probably nothing at all. It's like they do nothing at all. Nothing at all. Shall retire to bed at 9 a.m. Do plant some seeds, do some watering. If we actually need to.
Okay, so they're all nice and warmed up. That is good. Alright, let's plant some shit. watered up. Uh, let's gather some honey. They say the uh What did they say that the uh river fish are? Kid Ashburn has moved into the burial grounds. Oh, okay. And they've got a new kid. Yeah, I was amazed by the fact the pets were just still chilling. like eggs. Yeah. Pretty fairly indifferent about eggs, it seems. It was the sound it made. It made him sound like he just kind of straight up just ate, ate an egg. Just a raw egg. Just scoffed it down.
and he's got a lot of cans. It might be worth me going to find this moon the archer. Gracing and traveling free. I wouldn't mind doing a bit more fighting, to be honest with you. I, I quite enjoyed that. The bow with us into combat or something. That would be a bad shot. Get over the size of those poppies is terrifying. I feel like they're gonna eat me. Can't sleep. Poppy will eat me. Ooh, grab that. Fucking oh, free more to find them. Okay. Right, we're in the correct region. Okay. So in the right place for the moon guy. Let's go find moon the archer now. Somewhere around here, I'd imagine. Yep, there they are. <laughs> ah, the seedling. An honor to have you visit my quiet little corner. Welcome to Hunter's Bluff. My name is Moon, and I am the master of archery. I have looked into the mirror, uh, Myria, and received the blessing of the goddess. Now I am here to teach those willing to learn the grace of the hunter. I need to estimate your skills before I can give you the tool you need to pierce the hearts of your prey. If you can hit the target on the island to the east of this region, you may return to me and claim your prize. May your inner eye guide you. It's an Easter egg. Vera, show us your gown in the fields of summer down. You hit target on the island to the east of this region. I think it's like a different read.
to go to the shingle. I think I remember seeing a, a target on an island. But I definitely think it was a, yeah, oh, oh, okay. No, I went west, I mind. I do it every time. How do I always go west when I'm going to go east? How do I, I consistently do that? One day your arrows will sling through the air like a chorus. Every archer needs a bow, so here is Jules as promised. Meet me in the burrow down the slope to the west. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the west this time. I got a bow. Ah, here you are. Let us verse, let us verse you in the way of the hunter. In combat, your bow is mainly used to disrupt your enemies. Arrows can break a block instantly. Uh, disrupt enemy attacks and remove their stamina. Mm -hmm. Draw your bow by holding right trigger and use the left stick to select an enemy. And use the stick, sorry, to select an enemy. Or use the right mouse button to hover the cursor over your target. Release to fire. You can uh, try a quick draw and fire, but make sure your accuracy stats are good. I just have some target for you to hit. Your quiver can only hold six arrows, so use them wisely. Potential glimmers like stars. With views, your bow will become more powerful. A mastered bow is a deadly weapon indeed, but this is all you need to know for now. Return to me at my tent if you wish to learn skills that will help you become a nightmare for your foes. Okay. Excuse Wednesday on pause. Uh, till next Wednesday. I just didn't feel like doing it this Wednesday. After, after the holidays, I was like, eh. Next Wednesday. <laughs> Don't lose stamina while aiming. Mm, I get one more of them. That's not. Mm, that might be a good way to make good use to put it together. Cheeky mole. Give it a go. I 
gonna try and parry them. I guess I probably should have gone to the simple area because that's where I needed to get the uh, the parries from. Oh my god, what is happening? not go very smooth. Hmm. Oh, wow, I got it right. I'm actually shocked I got that right. Yeah, we need nobodies, right. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was not good. That place is pretty rough. How much of the uh, how much of the stuff did we actually get to keep? Yeah, it's not bad. Not too bad. Yeah, I think so. And then after that, you you lose. I think it's a year of your life, which is pretty rough. But yeah, not too bad, I guess. What kind of game is this? Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Kind of, it's made by some of the original Fable devs. It's kind of like a life sim-ish sort of thing. Fantasy-esque. I don't really know how to describe this game, I'll be honest with you. 
let's let the game itself describe it by looking at how Kinsey decides to describe itself. A beautiful life sim sandbox RPG. Raise a family, farm the land, run a business, cook, craft, and build an everlasting legacy in a vast world filled with adventure, creativity, and meaningful choices. There you go. I don't know if I would call it, like, Stardew Valley, to be honest with you. I, I don't really think, like, this is, like, Stardew Valley. Cause it's, it doesn't go, like, it's not really about farming is the main thing. It's, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's misleading if I said this was, like, Stardew Valley. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's it's weird. I I don't. Yeah, I I struggle to s describe the game to be honest with you. Yeah, I just feel like saying it's like Stardew Valley just isn't really quite right. Autumn rains soak the ground and when winter too, they can be found. You need to like sit down and properly play Sardew Valley. I've never actually played it for a super length, long length of time, I think. The character age? Yeah, your character ages and like you have kids and then you die and then you pass on like all your skills to your kids and stuff. Any kid? How have I? How would I have? How have I have had a kid yet? I only just got out of the prologue. Now, only now can we actually go into like the whole that aspect, which I haven't even, I not even, haven't even looked into that whole part of the game yet.
So close to like leveling up this fishing rod now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, character grown. Oh yeah. There's definitely um, Stardew inspiration in this game, obviously. Uh, okay. I think I like I I I like the Stardew fishing more. I love that like bar thing. I think it's really fun. Do you have energy for the day? No. Yeah, where's the day today? Sheep auction and traveling trading. Okay. to unlock for skill? No. Oh, yeah. I'm all, uh, a little bit out, out of my... I don't really got any things I need for them yet. I need to get the gardening skill, like... Star tin shovel. Oh shit. Sort of seven. How much is that worth? Nine. Okay, so the copper ones are definitely worth. Zinc ones are definitely. I think zinc ones might be worth even more. It's four stars for eleven. It's possible twelve. Yeah. 
give you the gift of a blueberry jam. You don't seem to care that much for it. You spring no, I don't want to know about that green hair parsley shit. Get out of here. I find this whole dance thing very creepy and weird. Have you tried a pear? Well, she doesn't hate him. Which is better than nothing. Do we know what she likes? Oh, she likes the blueberries. Oh, great. Okay, well, I don't have any then. You must like just plain old blueberries, right? Better than nothing. Enjoy. like fish. Let's see if he likes strawberries. Billy Cow dislikes every man's salad. <laughs> Doesn't like any man's salad. There's no salad that I enjoy. If you can appease or control knockers, then you can get them to do the mining for you. Oh yeah, no, someone told me about that. That skull head is terrifying. It, the, the way, it, the fact it's opening and closing as it goes, <laughs> I'm like, ah! Like a fish during this trying time? Get out of here. I don't care for you. Just hanging out in the bar, giving people gifts when they walk in. <laughs> it's like, can I just, I just wanted to come in. I don't know. I didn't want a gift. You can't own this shop yet. Oh, okay. You can own the bar eventually. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we need to we need to save up enough money in order to get to be able to buy one of these businesses. Which shells have gone right down the river? I literally I dropped my rod and it floated away. I need a river trout. I'm looking for river trout actually. Yeah, I'll try and find you one of them. Hmm, fresh flowers required. Six to six to that's these like this is like nothing. Five gold? I'm not doing that for five gold. <laughs> Would you like a peach before you start getting drunk? Who are you? I am the local peach salesman. Uh. No, I, I don't. I don't want your weird peaches. I'm good. Okay. Come here, come here. Oh yeah, I am Lambo actually. I love the I love the humor. It's I love it, it's great. 
I've been, I've been, I've been enjoying all the, the double entendres. Come here, fish. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this fishing spot. I shouldn't. I don't know why I ever fish there. I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm gonna fish somewhere else. I can take these. I did not realize I could take those ones. Fish. Fish over there. Let's try here again. Faring well, sir. Uh, right. Down again. Come on. Come on, Mr. Fish. Oh yeah, no, I've I get. not been around lately, but I hope you are doing well, man. I get coin tail. I mostly just get coin tails in here, don't I? Come on. Come on. Going elsewhere. Um, hey, no rotten dragon, uh, dragoon rider. I, I, I have I hadn't streamed for like a good two weeks or something like that. I decided to take Christmas off and stuff, so I'm just getting myself back in the swing of things. And whilst whilst also trying to fix my sleep schedule, which is all fucking backwards at the moment. I'm getting enough sleep. I'm just getting enough sleep at the wrong times of the day. <laughs> uh, so you know. It'll, it'll, it'll happen eventually. When? Who knows. But eventually. Right. Uh, ooh, you know what? I'm going to try fishing over there. No wrong time of day to stream. All right. Okay, there's fucking no fish here again. My, my God. Fish, you know, fish apocalypse or something. Damn, four star gassy apple. It's kind of beautiful. I don't think there's a. Sp I don't think that's the specific spe specific spot you get in the ground. I think there's. I think they keep seeing in the veil. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> there's just like I guess they're all over. I think I got I got some there. Okay, uh, but uh, why not go where we got them before? I'm able to catch a stream. Today has been pretty rough after my dog passed away last night. 
Aww. Thanks for cheering me up with the stream. Sorry to hear that, man. How old is your dog? Scruffy nose. Hey, River Trout! There we go, this is the place to be. This is the place to fucking be. Oh yeah, this is definitely the place to be. River Trout, ahoy. Bo is somehow still around. Despite the fact that we were pretty certain Bo, we, we were gonna have to put Bo down. She just somehow flipped back. She, I, and we're just like, okay, well, I guess she's sticking around. I, on, Bo was supposed to, we, on, they, they never actually, like, they were supposed to, and they just never did. Because Bo kind of just turned around, turned up she was just a bit ill. But, uh, I mean, she's old as shit now. <laughs> Bo is. She was, uh, the, she was supposed to, she was supposed to have died, like, like, oh my god, what was it, like, like well, she got diagnosed with cancer, like, three, four years ago, or something like that, now? And they told us then she, she had, like, six months to live, and she's still around, and she's still going, and she's still a happy little dog. Old, obviously. Slow and old. Walker, she sounds like she sounds like she's about to collapse and break. But uh, still, still around. Oh my god, no, she is old. She's she's like real. Really she's just still going though. River trout. How are you, Mr. River Trout? And she's just chilling by the door. Hey. You alright, Banjo? It's like, it's like his favorite place to be when I'm working is lying asleep by there. Either by there or on my desk. Really? Hmm, it's being found me because the choice to put him down wasn't mine. I wasn't able to be there. Oh, that sucks. I'm seven years old. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Ah, shit. What the fuck? This went dark. Oh my god. I'm sitting here just playing my cat. Get them back and... Ah, what? How did I not catch that fish? What the heck? God damn it! <laughs> I keep missing. They keep biting and I keep missing. Come on, bite, bite. An eel? Oh, okay. That's not a river trout. This boy's mad. He's fishing at twelve a.m. Novice level achieved. Cast distance increased. <gasps> We've increased the level of our fishing skill. There's like the skills, and then there's also a separate other level by just doing the thing. You also gain like other little skills up. That's cool. Yeah, I know it's that grand. I don't know why. <laughs> I was trying to look on my. I was looking at it on my phone to see stuff, and I was like, "Huh? Why are the 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 why are the thingies turned off?" I didn't turn them off. I don't even know where I would go to do that. I like I generally have no idea where you would even where you even change that. I've never changed that in my life. Oh yeah, they are disabled. What the fuck? 
A lot of commons. Yeah. For some reason, they got disabled in a, in a setting that was hidden under, like, two different drop-down menus. Well, there we go. Weird. I have no idea why they got disabled. I, uh... That was, that was really weird. I wanted to say that I'm gonna make I wanna set it so that at the end of this at the end of that video the little thing pops up linking to the actual stream on the other channel. Mr. Penguin does YouTube, there you go. Yeah. Don't, I don't I wonder why they got disabled. That's really strange. Well they're on now, people can leave comments. Mr. Penguin does YouTube. <laughs> oh boy! Oh I can't uh, oh. Put the name of the uh, the game in here. That's probably a good idea. I must have I must have accidentally clicked like disable comments at some point when I was uploading it. Which is weird. I don't know how I would have done that. Like, genuinely not sure how I would how I'd accidentally disable the comments. What are you doing now, Banji? I'm just chilling. You just chilling. discovered a dating location by the burning man the resting man the burning man yeah let's go to resting man it's my favorite Hey, Mr. Cat, you can have... Uh, we're not gonna give you river trout, because I kinda, kinda need those. <laughs> kinda, kinda need the river trout right now. So, I haven't found any salmon yet. these things are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've met 39 out of 81 NPCs. Travel to Briar. Clear Simplewood. Clear Simplewood after traveling as deep as you can. Clear Midwood. Clear Wood Mood. Trying to you can. Clear hard tough wood. And clear tough wood is trio. Defeat an elite monster. Let's go all the map stones at every location. Can I have a kid? Have a baby or adopt a child. Yeah, okay. Forge a five star item. I wish one of these 
one of the achievements for the five star thing was I'm a five star man. <laughs> I'm a five star man. I'm a five star man. Let's make sure we uh, leave a blessing so we don't get cursed by the weird little imp men that, that haunt us in our dreams. Get out of here, mole. Get out of here, snail. Yeah, yeah. Salt snail. Yeah. Resting man sounds more your speed. Mint's not mint, mint's not my top priority right now. I wanna I need to find a guy to teach me gardening skills. Actually, I don't know if the game has actually said anything about Mint to me. <laughs> no, it never has. You just never know. Way, way down in the middle of the veil, you can find Basil bunched by the veil. I, I, what, the fuck do you, what do you mean by that? What are you, what are you trying to say to me? Crazy thing. Get out of here. I'm gonna go fight monsters. I wanna go fight monsters. I'm gonna I'm in a I'm in a fighting monsters mood right now. I wanna see if I can get all the way through the simple simple land. Actually, fished in here. Yet. Minnow. Oh, yeah, I probably should, definitely should have been fishing here. Rainfish. Ooh. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's fish in here. Right? Past the north gate is like the rest of the game. There's like multiple towns <laughs> with multiple people in. That was like the starting area, and then it just goes out into like all the other towns. Cunning plots. <laughs> Cunning plots. I love that name. Almost as much as I like Testy Acres. Testy Acres is, is the best place. We're all hanging out on Testy Acres. Why there's so many? Ch to experience a chicken migration? Is that what I'm experiencing? Right? Oh my god, okay. I was about to say, why there's so many chickens? It's a chicken migration. God, they travel in herds. Oh, 
Wow, I love it. A chicken migration. I got so many freaking eggs now, it's great. So many freaking eggs, oh my god. Oh my god. I need two stars. I need two star sloppy, sloppy bloppies. Alright, let's do some fights in. Fights his directors and he fights his fans. It's a problem no one understands. If there's two things he loves, it's fighting and fighting around the world. Combat in this vague, in a weird way, it reminds me slightly of like Battle Network, but only very slightly. More than that, I'm like moving around to dodge things and like keeping track of different things. The grid, like, there's like a semi grid system going on. Like, uh, whoa, what the fuck? Oh no, I'm asking, I'm asking myself out loud. If I, most of the time I ask myself questions in a game, I'm just asking, I'm just questioning out loud because otherwise I'd be sitting there quietly saying nothing, you know. Oh crap, fucking. When they're like really low in health, they're like, right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sacrifice my life and freaking go for it. So it looks kind of like I have to, I'm only gonna get one stuff, stuff, I think. I know my soul. You, you, the fact that you ask is more, more than, more than, more than some people would, and I appreciate that. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, we got the completed task. Let's go. I'll throw that money that I just made back in there. It's extra healing, Ooh, which I, I don't really need. Hmm, I might, I might have to go to the other one. Light a campfire. 
Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I dodge there, it seems. Yeah, it's only going to be one star. Okay, let's see if we can get two star stuff from here then. Now, I really, I, I like the, I like the flow of combat in this. It's, it's like a nice, just little dodgy bodgy doing this, this, that. And that. Okay, here we go. Oops, but I, I hit it wrong. Oops. What is it? What this, those are my those they, they they the sounds they make remind me of something and I can't think what it is. Boing. Australian instrument or something, I don't know. Boing, 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 boing. Let's go. Wait, they didn't even damage me? Oh, my toughness was up. a bit early. Let's go. I think that's all of them, right? Hey, nice. Alright, that's not too bad, man. Might need to go to the third level to get the stars we need.
Okay, because we ain't yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I got two venom sacks. Oh, we got some of that. I haven't got any nymph wings though. We need two starred sticky tongues, and those are definitely from the the slightly harder place. In a sec. I go deeper straight away. See, I want to try three star death. Kind of stars we get here. What's the little one star thing? Yeah. Well, what the heck is that? A dark pool. Okay. Pig, let's go. Both arrow shots there, that wasn't great. Uh, oh, okay, we can get nymph wings from here. And that's a two star one. Right there, Banji. Oh, not this again. Oh, I bet you parry them, don't you? Be the blue one, isn't it? Hey, we got that. He worked it out. Ooh, a dusk cherry. You know what? Shoot, screw it. Let's do it. Let's see how. Let's see what happens when we go deeper. <laughs> Oh boy, this will be interesting. 
Oh, there's a lot more health. Okay, they just go straight through that, don't they? I like, I really like the, oh wow, oh my god, these are four stars, what the heck? I, I like the, I really like the flow of combat. I'm saying it kind of reminds me a bit of like, Battle Network or Escape, uh, escape from Eden. One step from Eden, I mean. Minus the card system. Minus the card system, obviously. improving our uh, star ratings a lot. Shouldn't have gone so late at night. It's, uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's fucking hard to shit to see what I'm doing. Picking a, picking a fight in the woods in the middle of the night is uh, it's a terrible idea. Damage round. Oh, let's go. Ooh, okay. That's, thought maybe maybe don't uh, maybe don't do that again. <laughs> Oh shit, fucking hell. Wasn't ready for that. God, it's, I shouldn't go for the parries so often, but I love them. Ah, fucking. Oh my god, okay, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Holy shit.
something at me. Oh, oh no! Okay, I'm gonna have to bail after this fight because I am nearly dead. My stick flicked up, but it made me go up. <laughs> as the as the, the stick went down, it flicked back up again. Poop. Well, I definitely got I got some good stuff from that anyway. I only got like one nymph wing, which isn't great, but it's better than nothing. Oh yeah, no, this is. I mean, it's it's very it's, it's very sandboxy this game. So it does seem to be like a story though going on, or some some something something. There's something going on underneath it all, some sort of mystery thing. Also, definitely seems to be set in like a post-apocalyptic world. Yeah, it was about seven hours to get out of the prologue. Yeah, although I I will bear I will say that's seven stream hours, which. Is you know a lot of stopping, making stupid jokes, uh, multiple rants about random things, um, you know, the, the, some caveats in there. There's a whole section where I just played with my cat for a while. <laughs> Definitely a long prologue, though. Like, no, no question about that. The prologue is long, but yeah, definitely. My the way I play definitely added a good amount of hours because I fuck around so much. You could, you could sink a shitload of time into this game. No doubt. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Hmm. Okay, good. We've got enough of those. We need two star stingy, sticky tongues. I need to find out where the fuck uh, Marsh did is. around here somewhere. I bet you he's there. <laughs> he's the master of gardening and there's looks what looks like a giant watering can house. So I am going to say that that is where he lives. <laughs> if I was to take a guess.
day is it? Today is seventh. Oh shit! This is the uh, Druidian day. Oh boy! But better, better make an offering, or I'll get cursed forever. Well, not forever, but for a bit. Where is the uh, closest? There we go. Oops. Oh, we can try to Oh, I might do that actually. Uh, right. Make offerings. Okay. Um. Again, an extra quality star from each mine no chance no loot from each monster pack. What out of season crops can be grown on the farm only? Uh, each collected herb yields two. Oh, that might be a bad idea. Gain one arrow per room. Monster crit chance decreased. Pet built is up. Pet, pet automatically happy and fed. Chickens, extra eggs. Misfires more likely. Baby's unlikely. Fish spawn rate increased. Yeah, let's do that one. I'm not going to make any babies at the moment. Hello, who's this? Vedrani. Ran Rani? Vedrani? Alright, my little turnip. Nice to see a new face in these pear parts. Much better looking than old, uh, looking at old onion face across the way. Yeah, what's. You want a gift? Uh, you want a gift of a carrot? You want a one star carrot? Hey, Andrew, you okay? Cheers. Mossmen and dryads live in Airgreen. They think they take human form when they visit Quill. They say they take human form when they visit Quill. I think tree people should not feel the need to disguise themselves. That would be very... They would be very poplar. Poplar? Get it? <laughs> I, I think that the tree people... Hey! Let the, let the tree people have sex and get married and stuff. S sponsored by tree people. <laughs> I'm I'm Denny and the Denny singers and I I don't think the tree tree people should should be able to to get married. Hey, let the, let the tree people get married and uh, sex and stuff. Uh. I don't know, I always the the the, the, the whole trunk people thing always gets me. If Denny and we won't we won't get to we won't get to do that if Denny and the Denny singers get their way. <laughs> Hey, Noel. Noel Martinez, how's it going? Have any of your fantasies involved fighting? Come across my any death traps? You should visit my workshop. It is full of games. Life is one big role-playing game, isn't it? You and Livingston. You're a hero, capital of you to become my ally in these dark times. Do you want to join me in my fantasy? Fighting all manner of monsters? From the forest where doom awaits to dungeons full of death traps and swarms full of scorpions. Adventure awaits on every page. The books, of course. I, I just love these books where you choose your own path without crossing any legal boundaries. One minute you could be raiding tombs and the next in a snowy cavern having tea with a witch. What the fuck is that? And by tea, I mean whacking her with a big plus-free sword called Witch Bonker. Sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> uh, you can have a tomato, you strange man. Fucking day, get out of here. First week of summer is just so ideal if you want to harvest better sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Sunflower rating tip achieved. Oh, let's read a book. I love the books. Placeholder book. Placeholder books. Necessary or just waffle? Amusingly named author. 
Wait, hang on a minute. I think I have read this one before. Yes, I have read that one before. Dick Turnip. <laughs> what in frail's chaff do you want? Come to look on the ruins of my life? No, I've... Uh, let me... Oh, if you're feeling down, allow me to offer you an egg during this trying time. There you go. He seems pretty happy with the, with the egg I gave him. Okay, I think I made his day. Oh, oh, I see a little bit of fishing over here. I mean, give them things they don't like if you want. Yeah. Whoa, my dog's tiny. What the? What the fuck just happened? Why is my dog tiny? <laughs> I'm so confused. Something I gave him just made him tiny. Oh, 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 it was something to do with the others being there. Okay. That was really weird. My Tiny Dog. My Tiny Dog and Me, a story by me. The Mellow Field Visitor's Guide by Bry Bilson. Well, butter my cheeks and toast my hairpiece were the first words uttered to me when I first stepped into cunning plots. The house there at the time was owned by a Mr. Boggins, and he was not more than <coughs> five feet tall, or ten half feet, if you use the old measurements, or twenty toes if you go even further back to when times were, and people were simpler. Uh, good day, sir, I called out cheerily. It was obvious he had recognized me. My portrait is sketched onto the back cover of my travel guides. Have you come to tour our humble haven, he asked, cheeks as red as the cabbages he grew. Why, yes, I have, I replied. It was at this point I realized I had wasted a lot of words on this small but worthless anecdote. So, uh, to sum up, mellow fields, short people, gorgeous gardens, massive turnips, and peacocks. Nine out of ten, would engage in idle chit-chat again. <laughs> Lovely. Ken Tiller. Hello, my little onion. What brings you to our green and pleasant land? Well, it would be much more pleasant if his nips, uh, if his nips, if his nips, <laughs> I mean, like, it's like like nipples. It'd be great if his nipples took his ugly turnips. It took his uh, ugly turnips and trotted off somewhere else, preferably as far north as possible. I was like, what's wrong? He's going off, off on some man's nipple. Oh my god, this man's gone crazy. Ooh, sunflower seeds. I'll buy some. Lettuce seeds? Yeah. 
buying all the seeds. Pumpkin, pumpkin, gonna buy some pumpkin seeds. Are we pig racing? What are we racing? Oh, sheep racing. Uh, all right, we got mint sauce, butty, <laughs> and what was that fleece? Fleece shear smith or bamboo? I think I'm bad on fleece shear smith. Let's go. God, they're all over the place. What is, the, what is this lineup? Well, definitely shouldn't have bet on fleece shear smith. <laughs> Nipples out of here. <laughs> the concentric nipple, the concentric circle nipple people will rule the world. Get out of here. What the fuck? The, 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 the nipple racist people. Catnip. Catnip runs and hides away when snow is crisp on winter's day. Oh yeah, I should probably... How do I get out of here? Ah, I want to go down. I think I want to go down. Yes, I do. <laughs> I came here to get the gardening thing and I've like gone way, way, way. Getting very distracted here. I should come around and buy a sheep from here at some point. Was it a Rick and Morty episode? Yeah, like like a like a large portion of things I randomly quote. Like most of my popular culture references, it's just you know, Rick and Morty and Sony in Philadelphia. It feels like that's all I watch these days half the time. Such an interesting man, I such an interesting life I lead. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the rippling thing doesn't really have the effect I want it to sometimes. Neither does, and I think you're supposed to be able to land it on them, and sometimes that doesn't seem to work very well. You gonna grab the. You gonna fight the line? Or? Okay. Pumpkins only sprout when autumn rain or snows about. Hmm. Gooseberries. Schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> Gummy mushroom. A fun flower. I'm just gonna take everything everything I can. Whoa. 
After the barbell. After the sun has gone to bed, barbells appear to be fed. Barbell. Hey, there they are. There's the lad we're looking for. Hi ho, Silver. Oh, well, tickle my spade and grab my onions. Seeking my knowledge, are you? I can give you a few pointers for sure. Just don't stall yourself. You'll be plowing in no time. Plant waters itself after the first day of watering. Ooh, I like that. I've got four regular pairs to invest in that skill. Bedding. Oh, Ah, I remember when I was starting out. There was another gardener competing for dominion of the local soil patch. Back then, the soil was much rarer, and growing things so much harder. It took real skill. But, as I was saying, I had a green-fingered rival, some kind of medical condition, I think, whose name was, uh, funnily enough, uh, Greenfinger. We had a beat-off. <laughs> a duel to, to see how, who can grow the best beets in a day. That's what a, that's what a beat-off is. I, uh... I beat him with a, a beat of about three feet. <laughs> Me and my rival, we had a, a very long and drawn out beat off. Uh, ooh, do we have enough to give all these in? I think we might. I've got eight cabbages for you here. I've got 32 carrots, because that's like all I bloody grow. And uh, a couple of them. A couple of bells for you. Ha boom! <laughs> plants grow in one last day. Did you know that people are 80% plant based? That's a true fact. I myself am more 84%, seeing as I was grown off a large tuber. At least that's what my old dad told me. And he only lied about 40% of the time. That's why I never bathe. Already reached my optimum size, see? So watering myself might turn me into some weird overgrown creature. <laughs> wow, he's really weird. Like all the people in this game. He's a very strange man. Very strange man. Very strange man. Wheat. Twelve wheat. <laughs> 12 two star wheats, 12 two star lettuces, and. Sorry, and then 8 two star parsleys. And then we can get. Never get rotten fruit, even if cursed by brownies. But we can. So now plants grow in one less day. So that's that's good. That's a, that's a, that's a good sign. Now we can do the stone, pan, the stone pad thing. When spring and summer rule the sky, do sunflowers stretch oh so high? Ulysses, tell Emicus how lovely they are. Luatra. Luatra. Well pronounced. Grape jam. Stop whining. <laughs> Stop whining. Let's go eat some grapes. Beep. Ooh, catnip. Eat it after a catnap. Damn, those are huge. Poppy, poppy crane. Oh, that's a date location. Okay. Nightberry only sprouts at night, amazingly. He does have a cool house. I'm glad I picked up on their subtle design there to draw my eye to where I needed to go. <laughs> the twanging gardens. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I 
I'm going to pluck my twanger. Would you like to pluck my twanger too? Roses, what's a twang? Uh, things make the sound twang, you know? Roses hate the freezing chills, ne'er found till sunlight spills. The dancers on Mellow Field. Ooh, look at this. Very interesting. It's also very dark. Very dark. It frees the legendary bud. In the realm of void, they grow so good. Age is just a high number by Hans Zimmer Frame. <laughs> mm -hmm. Growing old is often seen as a negative thing in society, especially by the youth of today. Sure, when you reach adulthood, your stats go up, and from the age of 40, they start to drop slowly. Ugh. Life begins at 40, is such an aware saying. Life does begin. Gone are the stresses of having to worry about what people think of you. You gain an amazing insight into the health. You don't just suddenly gain insight at 40. Fuck off. <laughs> just becoming 40 doesn't suddenly make, give you insight into the world. Oh, now that I'm 40, I understand the world. Okay, great. Go on another show. You gain an amazing insight into how the world works and the ability to tell everyone at the earliest opportunity. Oh, okay, now this is self-aware. Your leg bones calcified are perfectly made to stand in queues for hours. You can wear winter clothing in summer and thus get more value. Soup tastes a hundred times better. And appreciation grows for soft toilet roll and large writing. So you see, while your stats may start to wither, a bit like your virility, there are so many more things to enjoy and look forward to. Being old physically does not mean your mind has to grow old, too. Play games, enjoy the world, love each other, and then happily complain about them. P.S. This does not apply to people who have magical seeds in their possession, and just regular folk. Uh, you wouldn't understand. You're not 40. The world You understand the world when you're 40. You'll understand when you're 40. Ugh. No thanks. That book just gave me an existential crisis. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't have a quick thing to the circle. Damn it. Music in this also sometimes reminds me of Crystal Chronicles. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to jump off because uh, it's like quarter past two in the morning. And um, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go because, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like two, two in the morning. It's fucking crazy uh I, I will see you when i wake up go to the gym and then 
return to stream. Um, yes. I think I'm going to actually play Crisis Core tomorrow because I, I want to play some. I want to play a bit of Crisis Core. Love Crisis Core. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play a bit of that. Um, thank yous for watching. I'm going to go uh, over there. Um, over, just over there. Like, like, probably like 10, 15 steps over there to my bed. Uh, and then I'm going to lay down. And I'm going to pick up my phone. And then I'm going to play Marvel Snap for like four hours. And then I'm going to go to sleep. But I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to actually, I'm going to pick up my phone and go, no, don't play Marvel Snap. And then I'm going to play anyway. So that's, that's the plan. <laughs> I'm also not going to eat any more donuts because I've eaten six donuts today. And there are six donuts downstairs. And I should save them for another time. All right, I'm going to go now. Uh... Oh, I want, I'd much rather, I'm just a bit too, I, I, it's, it's a funny time, but like, I'm a bit awake, but I would like to sleep. So I'm going to try to sleep. If I can't, then Marvel Snap's coming out. But if I can, well, that's great. That's great. You want to get a, you want to get a glimpse of Banjo before? He's such a cutie. Oh, yes you are, aren't you, huh? Huh? He's like, no cameras, no cameras. <laughs> no cameras, man, no cameras. You're my special boy, and if anyone hurts you, I'd rip them apart. Tear them into pieces. Alright. You finished my Katawa Sojo stuff a few days ago? Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Coldest. I hope you enjoyed it. Get yourself ready for the next rewatch. I love that the Katawa Sojo series is a, is a series that people will, like, regularly go back and rewatch. Makes me very happy that I made something people like to do that with. 
Because I, I, I like it when there's a thing that I like to rewatch, and I very much like it knowing that I've made something that people like to rewatch. You up now, eh? That he did all his stretches. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go and uh, do that is all of I, that I have to say. Uh, until next time, you know, keep watching the skis. Do I still play of pause and such? I have played of the mid a long time. No real reason, just doing other stuff. You know? Keep watching the skis. I mean, skies.